Hello. Hello. How are you all? How is everyone? Welcome. It's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. And her plus one, Bruno Batucci. And have we got an awesome video for you. Sorry, this is not working on Facebook. Um, we might just have to send a link. Oops, I can hear myself in the other room. I'll we might have to go that. and um, send a, a link. But anyway, Kylie's just going to talk for a minute and I will fix it up in the other room. That's great. So how is everyone? We've got an epic video today. We have so many samples to share with you. I think Bruno counted over 60. Bella wants to say good morning. You want to say hello to everyone? Hi. So hi everyone. She can see herself and she thinks it's another doggy. She's doing very well. She's a little bit needy and she's a bit spoilt, but she's doing very, very well, which I'm happy about. So let's just go over to Facebook and say, hey, jump over onto hey, YouTube. Ah, oh, Bruno's doing it already. So I've put a new colour in yesterday. What does everyone think? I told her to add a little bit more red to it because I didn't like, like I liked the brown, but I just felt like it was a little bit flat. It needed a little bit of warmth, a bit of red through it. And I think she did a very nice job. It's nice to get a little bit of zhuzhing, right? We all love a bit of zhuzh. Now, we are going to be showing you lots of cool things today, but just a little bit of a heads up. We're going to be going step by step through this brand new catalogue. So if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you may have this already. If you don't have it already, that's okay. It still said it's coming. Um, they Stampin' Up! have said that you should have it by pre-order time, which is still... I'm here. Like a week away. Hi, Bruno. Welcome back. Um, 24th, apparently, it's going to arrive. So yeah. It might not be in there in time. We haven't 24th heard of... 24th of April? Yeah. Oh. We haven't heard of any in Australia. Some in other countries have it already, but... Um, yes. It's very mine. cool. It's my name on it. Now... Yes, I rolled that one. One thing we want to do is we want you to... Download this. Yes. Make you sure you might have that. seen on social media, we have a copy of this shopping list. We're going to show you, mm. as Kylie said, we're going to go step by step through the catalog. And some of this, you, um, if you've if seen the catalog, you've seen it. Mm. Um, but other things, we're going to tell you the name of it. And if you love it, write it down. Because we want you to remember that on April the 2nd, if you're a demonstrator, you can add this to your cart. Yep. Or if you're not a demonstrator, what can they do? Sign up. Sign up. Join our team. <laughs> yeah. And we want you to write down the name so you know exactly what you are, mm. what you can look for. Yeah. Um, and let me tell you, the products in this catalogue that we have had access to mm. have been so inspiring for yeah. us. We started making projects and could not stop. Did you show this box? No. So me. much so that we have this many samples to share with you. Can you believe it? Like we literally could not stop. So Can't we, stop. We are going to be sharing all of these things with you today. So, um, is so there make anything sure you else? Download, that download this. So it's mm. down in the description. If you're watching the replay, or if you're not comfortable with scanning QR codes, in the description below uh, there is a link. And so <laughs> Angela's got the best idea. <laughs> Printed three copies, yes. <laughs> Good one, Angela. <laughs> yes, that is the way to do it. Yeah. So, yes, because <laughs> we... I think we're going to have a few. <laughs> have we been sleeping? That's a good question. Bruno hasn't. <laughs> um, honestly, we have been so inspired by these products that we just kept on going and going and going. So, um, should we start? Yes. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Down facing camera. Woohoo! Yes, your chiropractor appointment. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got my first chiropractor appointment in a very long time. I'm excited about that. Now, and guess what I made last night, people, before we start? Yeah, you just kept on going. Oh, thanks, Bruno. Why is it following you everywhere? I don't know. I don't know. Look what I made last night, people. Do you know what it is? 
It's mozzarella. Mozzarella. I'm so excited because I just, all it cost me was two litres of milk. I mean, it's a lot of mucking around. It's but, a lot of mucking around. Um, It saved <laughs> half the price. How do you know it was lots of mucking Because around? I could hear you going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> So, people, if you have a catalogue, grab it, follow along. If you have the PDF, we will tell you what page That's we are. Light. That's much better. <laughs> I'm like, quite happy to the light. We will tell you where we are. Now, the first thing we are going to look at is on page 18. Now, we can't show you inside the catalogue, so we're very sorry. If you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, this is another reason why you should be one. What are you doing there, Kylie? I'm just scratching off all the Tombow glue. I literally just last week yeah. I cleaned that with <laughs> Well, I've alcohol. been I've been making a lot of samples. I've been a busy woman. Now, the way that the catalog is so sorted out, um, you it's set up into different types of crafting. I literally was just about to go. Show the catalog. Um, ah! <laughs> But the the first section there, let's just we'll just leave it. I'm just the first section there scratch. is about mix and match. So what's mix and match, Kylie? I don't know. You tell me. Um, so you basically <laughs> get some card bases. I haven't had coffee yet. <laughs> get some card base. Hey Does Bella, do you think you can go down? Does Bella? it say Beverly? No, she's happy here. She Beverly wants to lie by lap. Beverly time. So you get some card bases, yeah, and then you get some ephemera packs. So we're going to show you Why all do of you these say things. Like that? Ephemera, ephemera, <laughs> ephemera, 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 ephemera. ephemera. <laughs> so first of all, let's have a look at this Sunny Springs um, cards and envelopes. Now, one thing that was a bit of a surprise for us is that. This pack of envelopes and cards, there is five. Just keep so that in mind. Just keep Pete. that in mind that we might be used to having more than that. Um, as you can see, there are only four in this pack because, hey, I might have used one of them. Ooh. So there are five and they match. They're complementary. They complement each other. <laughs> I don't think they're complementary in the true sense of the word. Um but they're like positive, negative. Nice. And this is so good. This, when you see some of the cards that we've made in this, in the catalog, there are lots of um, examples of cards, but you can let your imagination run wild. So this one here, what was this one called again? College Joe? Sunny Springs. Sunny Springs. This one here is called Calming Creek. Calming Creek. And what font have you used on your little packs? It's and called Jamie. J A I M E. Jamie. And where did you get these envelopes from? Amazon. Um, unmentionable place. Oh, I'm sure you can get them at Amazon. Yeah, they these are. Um, if you grab your ruler. Yeah. If you're searching for the size, these are die collector things die and they are seven inches by nine and a half inches so if they're you're a really good size you they're can just search for six die. six paper too yeah so Carmen Creek and this is more of like a neutrally not as intense mm. they're very elegant now let's have a look at some of these ideas. Um, ephemera packs. So the idea is you get a card base, you get the ephemera pack, and you literally stick them down. And these will be good for, um, like, particularly if we add more Quest to My Heart or scrapbooking type stuff. So I'm actually very excited about this because at first I was like, I don't understand, but... Why would you um, have a sentiment when you can stamp a sentiment? So there's lots of different sentiments that you have there. And it's good for the beginner, like crafter, like when someone's just starting out. I think they don't have good... Yeah, they don't have a um, craft room that's full of stuff. Mm. I think the new gen, this is what they would be interested in. So there's lots of stuff here. 
And these are sentiments. Should I do that? I'm scared it might cancel the... I've already put posted the link, I... and I did that thing that you said oh, cool. about followers. So that's saying something ephemera pack. Here's another one. Something for everyone, ephemera pack. Oh, I like this one. And there is something for everybody in this. Mm. Hence the name. Hence the name. <laughs> so we've got some other packs. You can see lots of these things that I've already hacked at. Oh, look at the coffee cups. They're great. Oh, I might have used that one. Oh, look at the doggy. <laughs> So we've got that. Okay. Very nice. And the last one, actually the second last one, fully flowering ephemera pack. So Ooh, lots of flowers. Nice. And even black and white ones that you can color if you want. Make it whatever colour you want. Mm. They're great. And the last one that we have, I don't actually have all of this, but because we went to on stage, this was in the product playground. And at the end of it, um, this was left over on the table and they said I could take it. Oh, that was so nice. You can, there's leftover bits and some other bits. So um, you can take some of these um sentiments there and you can stick them down on here so like i said the idea is you grab a card base you grab some image you grab some sentiment and you stick them together mm. and that's a simple Voila. that's as, as simple as it gets now i've made three cards one, two, three. And this is how simple they are, people. Pre-printed envelope. Oh, wow. I like that background. Now, that is a stamp. So what I did is I used a bit from this label ephemera pack and I stamped it. And I stamped it using the Simply Said stamp set. So this is going to be your... Um, it's a good start. General, mm. like this is, if you don't have, <laughs> okay, Bella, you're really going to have to go. But she needs me. Listen to that little <laughs> cry. <laughs> so this is a great starting stamp set. So you can just get this. It's photopolymer. So it's really simple to line up and you just have to maybe get a black ink. So this is something that is really, really, really simple. So simply said, add that to your list and any of these other things, add those to your list. So this is literally stick down, stick down, stamp, stick down. Mm. Can you think of some friends that you can do this type of crafting with? Here's another one. Yeah, the other people are like, oh, I don't want a lot of stuff. Like I've already got so much stuff. This is really good. Is anyone there? Yeah, they're there. Okay. So we have flowers on this one. We also have a sentiment. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I had a, I had had a, a... a comment up there. Oh, good. Simple. Look how simple this is, people. This is literally stick down. <laughs> and there's masculine type of cards. So it's not frilly, florally. So the pre-order is the 2nd of April for demonstrators. So if you're loving these new products and you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, the reason why we're showing this video is to try and persuade you to become <laughs> a demonstrator. Because it is the best option. You get yeah. discounts. You well, get well, everything truly. that a customer gets and more. So there are, you use dimensionals in that. I did. So this is a bit um, a bit more adventurous mm -hmm. in that, <laughs> like, there's still no stamping, but I just used dimensionals on this one, but that could very easily have just been stuck down. Michelle said, I would have loved this as a beginner. Yeah. It's fantastic. Agree. And I think the new generation, this is what we're going to be able to use to 
connect with that 20 to 35 group that we just seem to be missing at the moment. So talk to if you're like in your 70s and you've got grandchildren that are that age, like show them, get some and say, look, I, I don't know what to do with this. This is not my style of crafting, but it could be that younger generation style. So introduce them to it because otherwise we aren't going to have any young crafters. We need some young uns. So let's move on. We'll just put all these away. Now, Kylie Jo, yes. there is a box on the floor. I so saw that. I tripped on it. You tripped on it? Yeah. I was like, oh, my goodness. Well, have these cards. And then face planted into the desk. So maybe we can just put the cards that we've made. In a yep. box over there. Awesome. Bruno has a process, people. Can you tell? Dun, dun, mifflin, people, people. I was going to say process people. <laughs> and simply said. Okay, let's move on, people. Okay, so one other thing I want to show you. If you have a catalogue, page 22, um, you will notice that there are sketches. So I've made one of the sketches. Ooh, you made And I'm sketch. very interested to make all of the sketches that are shown on the... Um, on the catalogue because I, I think that as people are progressing in their craft they just need a bit of a bit more creative inspiration so um, I want to try to simplify some of the cards and some of the cards that you will see today are made using this sketch so um, yes watch this space ephemera is great for folios Albums and junk journals. Okay, Joe Williams, I have something to show you later mm. on. That is exactly that. So yes, sketches. And so in this in the catalogue, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twenty-two sketches shown, but there are hundreds of sketches mm. um, that we can do. Oh, Athena, you're the best. Kylie, I love it too. Kylie doesn't. No, I do. <laughs> I just, it's a trigger thing for me because I'd love to be that organised, so I've got to make fun of it. It's just a, it's me projecting. <laughs> now, the next product that we have. Janice asked you a question. Janice, does the sketches come with measurements? They don't. And these ones here, I just guessed. Mm. So um, what I might do as I make them, I might just put yeah, on the back measurements some back. measurements. Mm. But that's a good question. Mm, it's a very good question. Now, our next product is on page 34, and this is the Mediterranean Blooms. And if you watched our um, other on-stage video... We're going to go to Mexico, Megan. <laughs> so we have Mediterranean Blooms. This is a bundle, and we only have the designer series paper. It's just going to be a bit glary. I'll just lift him up a bit. Um, so this is a photo, uh, a cling stamp set. This is a beautiful stamp set. Um, Do you have a Bruno Bertucci big call here? This is a Bruno Bertucci big call. This is my favourite suite mm. in the entire catalogue. Yeah. So let me show you the paper. I know we've shown you this before, but you can never, ever see this paper enough. <laughs> never enough. Never <laughs> enough. So yes, we won this. Favorite. We won this on um, Prize Patrol. Sars. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's why. Megan won this and she was not happy. <laughs> Bruno won this and he was like, Jump, oh my I was goodness. literally jumping up and down. <laughs> I've won American Idol. <laughs> so one side is like the tile image and the other side is the citrus image. And when I show you this, you will see. Um, how much I've hacked it. It's a BBBC. It's a Bruno Petucci big call. Is this on yellow? I feel like it's... No, it just changes when you put paper on there. It's okay, yeah, funny. it is changing, yeah. It's more this than that. <laughs> it's getting too clever. I've probably updated it. 
<laughs> I the orange. So there's oranges and lemons is the theme on this one. Oh, yeah. okay. So this one, I only have one sheet. <laughs> That's how much I've used because I've used it. Lemon. <laughs> So there's the lemon side. I'll put it on the lemon side because that's much Oh, in Rotterdam. Miss Jinko had this in Rotterdam. Beautiful images. <laughs> you great, great, Megan. We'll take your paper. <laughs> Kylie said that it was, um, some people might think it's sort of granny style. I was wondering people in Europe what they think of it because for us it's very, like, nostalgic of going to Capri. Yeah. And we, like, Capri was one of our favourite places in Italy that we've visited so far. So it has a lot of, like, really nice memories for us. Now, let me show you these dies because there's two parts to it. There's this beautiful <laughs> side. We have this one, which is a frame. Yes, and should have seen Bruno jumping up and... Yes. <laughs> he was very excited. <laughs> so you can use these by themselves or together. We have an outside piece, we have this piece, which is beautiful. We have this piece, which is beautiful. Then Everything about it is amazing. We have all these other pieces. These cut out the stamped image, these two stamped images, and we've got other... Where did you put it on magnetic sheets? When I first got it. Wow, go you. This was a part of the pre-pre-pre-order. Um, did you win the Citrus DSP Prize Patrol, Jessica? Jessica is asking. Yes, I did. Yes. Now, let's look at some samples. And honestly, people, once I started with this one, I could not stop. Well, Donna Donna said she would struggle to craft with this DSP. Oh, dear. <laughs> so here is one that I made at on stage. Yes. This was one of the sample projects, and I was excited about that. I was actually Can really... Can this up so that you can see it properly? Sure. Just so that you can have a cool now, background. For you, if you are adding this to your list, the suite is called Mediterranean, Mediterranean Blue. Blues. Oh, this isn't on the pre-order, though. No. So add this to the list, but you might yeah. not be Put able to pre-order. Put it on your shopping cart, but you'll have to wait until it comes out. Now, one thing about this um, product, this project here, I used stays on and it stays on. That's the name. It does. Um, but I hadn't done watercolouring like that in a long time. So mm. anyway, there's the first one. Here is the second one. This is a bit over the top. Is there such a thing as over the top? There is. Now, what I did <laughs> on this one, um, I cut the frame, so I cut the outside out using um, the die, the outside die. Then I cut a frame over the top using basic white cardstock, and I used stamp and blends, and it just gave it a ah, bit... Ah, I wonder what you did there. A bit of an interest. So you did that one. So for the designer series paper, I did that one. And then for the other frame, I did that one and that one. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Because you did the paper as well. And then that you cut out using basic white. Yes. And then coloured in blends. So she this, just this part here. She just mansplained me. But I just wanted to do it with showing these sure. at the same time. So you, what colours did you use here? Mossy? Mossy, dark and light. Love it. And this is just cut out piece from the design series paper. There's not a die for that. And some dots that you will see coming up. So that's another Excellent. one. Excellent. I love it. Chop it. Here is a slimline card that I made. Ooh. So I love I, it. I um, just used the... Yes, we will definitely, this this replay will be available on YouTube and we'll probably um, put it on Facebook too after the fact because, you yeah, know, we don't want Facebook to miss out too. Um, yeah, so I stamped this twice and just coloured with stamp and blends. And you flipped them? Uh, yeah, must have. Oh, Changed no, it's twice it. or three times? three. Yeah. Four? Yeah. So there's four of them. Yeah. So I used the, that one. 
interesting because I would have looked at that and thought for sure it was that one. And you could even do a combo of the two and then do it like that too if you wanted to mix it up. But I like how you've put the flowers on top. And then this background piece is a stamp as well. That's isn't a stamp. It? So that's yeah. this piece here, and I just stamped that in the same nice. color, Mossy Meadow. Brilliant. Here's another simple one. So this is just cut out using the frame. So this is a great way to use the paper. I don't know who said it before. I'd be worried how to use the paper. Look how simple that is. So that's like love it, chop it, perfectly done. Just use the frame, stick it down, and then add a sentiment with just I a little use bit some of dimmies there. foliage. So these this foliage piece comes, you could cut out any of these pieces. But oh, on the is other that what side, you did? On the, oh, on the other side. On the other side there is other pieces, oh, yeah. so I just stuck those down. Oh, that's good. I really love that one. That one's my fave. Here's another one. Oh, and that's just love it, chop it, but you've layered the fruit over the top. Yeah. So that's just cut out. Um, now, this is another way of using those end pieces on the designer series paper. Yes. Um, you nothing gets wasted. Then. Nothing gets wasted. Yeah. So you can cut that out. I just added those on dimmies. Is there something on the inside? Oh, there is. <gasps> Go Bruno Batucci. I don't think any of the others have no. anything. They're nudies. They're nudies. <gasps> Shut those cards. With the Nitty blue, ready. yes, I agree. This is one of my favourites. Mm. And so this is, like, when I first saw the stamps, the um, paper, this is what I had in mind, just mm. layering the two. Um, but you don't have to. You can mm. use other colours there. Um, okay, here's another one. Oh, what's yeah. this one? This has an envelope. Oh, I like this one. Okay, so oh, I didn't do it. Mm, that's all right. You can explain it. Okay, so this one here. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> so that has. Joe, a... I wish this week has been so busy. Oh my goodness, I didn't stop. <laughs> and all I wanted to do was be in the craft room and craft, and I couldn't. <laughs> so this one here, I just stamped it on basic white. And coloured using Stampin' Blends. I coloured it the entire sheet. And that's what's that, oh, what I love about Stampin' Blends. Mm. It just gives this beautiful washed look. I mean, I could have stamped it and coloured it on this colour, but it wouldn't have mm. looked the same. But stamping it on white, the colouring is really good. And then we have some designer series paper. This is from... The country sweep that's coming up. Isn't that the coolest that it opens like that? So all I said to Bruno last night was this, this is, is a, a little bit flimsy. bit flimsy. So he suggested putting a window sheet behind or I said even just another layer of like that again. But I think the window sheet would be easier to line up than doing another layer. It's really, really gorgeous. I love that you can see through. I love that you've got like that second layer. It's really nice. And on the back here, like I didn't want to have that displayed so i just yeah. cut out another one and just sandwiched it as in so, sorry can you so there's it? two i cut out one for the front oh, yes. and one on the back because you see. didn't want the back one showing yeah yeah and it i didn't want adhesive coming through of course yes i like that Good so there's idea. that one you could even put a sentiment on the back as well if yes one or two yeah for sure Yes, there's more people. Bruno had so much fun with this suite. Just checking in. I didn't, I didn't play with this suite. Literally, this was a piece of designer series paper that was on my desk and I couldn't bear to throw it out. Mm. So I thought, I'm going to create another project <laughs> using this. <laughs> oh, okay. So this one here, I forgot which one it is. We received a card. Um, it was Cheryl Hurst. Cheryl Hurst mm. from our team. Um, sent us a card a couple years ago, and we it was, kept it. We, we kept loved it because we design. loved it, mm. and so it opens like this. Isn't that the coolest? So it's almost like an interconnecting. So you go one side, two side, yeah. And I love the embossing. I love the layers of these pieces here. Yeah, it's just a really fun card that one. This is very lemony. 
<laughs> this car. <laughs> But I, I really like, I think, you know, there's a lot of, we've got a lot of Italians in our life, of course. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that um, grow lemons, love lemon. Like, I just think it's a really fun, like, and I think it's a good masculine feminine card. It's very neutral. Yeah. Who doesn't love lemons? Just, you know, if, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Like, there's a good saying around lemons. Well, that looks great. So this is another card. And is I that a stamped and coloured or is that a... That is just cut card. out from Designer Series yeah. paper. Great. And I had another strip over here and it wasn't quite long enough to go that way. So I just put it that way and just trimmed it along there. Yeah, it looks good in the diagonal. Very good, in fact. I like that. Oh, wow. And so this is using, I think it's... Yeah, so I just cut it out from the designer series paper. I cut out one sprig of oranges and the piece had another like two half bits and I just that's put them together enough. so that it looked like it's on a branch. And that's the same theme as that, but look at those two cards. They look completely different and yet the idea is the same. I love, love, love the idea of like layering the fruit on top of the tiled look. Ooh! And so this one here, I rather than having just a normal, insert. rather than just having a normal insert, I cut it out using the die. I love that. Oh, I'm happy you're decorating the inside. And it. so that is just a piece. Again, that was a corner bit that I would have thrown out. Yeah. But there's no Don't need to throw, throw it out. out. I just cut it out along this side and used the same die and then stuck it down. I should have stuck it down first, but it looks like you have. No, I just laid it. So actually, if you look closely, you can see that this piece here, yeah. I cut the other side Ah, and this one here. Yeah, I just lined it up. No, you lined it up. It looks good. <laughs> You're not leaving any ideas. Ah, feel free to case. <laughs> so the, the thing with these projects is that over the coming weeks slash months, mm. You'll see these. They'll go on our blog. They'll go on our blog. And we might even make some of these mm. with you. And mm. so... Um, They'll the, be our videos, upcoming videos. I want to see this one. We want to inspire you. If you haven't, it, maybe this wasn't something that uh, you wanted, you necessarily wanted when you first looked at the catalogue. Mm. But hopefully this has shown you some different ways of using the projects. Samples for me are the best way to get a visual of whether I like something or not. We don't want you to just be buying stuff for the sake of buying stuff. We want you to use it. So the idea is to have all of this free content because we want to inspire you to use it all. Now, a good segue would be this one here. What yes. do you reckon? Paper Club. So if you, this is just one of the sheets of the, the designs of designer series paper um, that you have seen. There is going to be a lot that you have seen. Uh, you will see over the course of this video, okay. but some people find it a bit difficult to buy all of the paper. So this is a way for you to do that in a bit more of an affordable way. So over two months, uh, you spread out the cost and you get all of the designer series paper. All of it. Uh, in the entire catalog. Yes. So um, we can't take money for, but if you want to, uh, we can't take money yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to register to secure your, your spot, mm. uh, you can uh, join our paper club. And the thing is, you don't just get six by six, you get a 12 by six mm. sheet. So you get um, twice. 12 by six is great because then you can make three card fronts out Correct. of the 12 by six. So. Yeah. Um, and only in Australia. Only in Australia. Sorry. So yeah. scan this code or scan this code, mm -hmm. this code, <laughs> um, and it's in the description below as well. So. And if you are a demonstrator, you're more than welcome to register. Just we ask that you check with your team leader first to see if they're running their own paper share before you sign up for ours. And we don't get, give any discounts as well. Yeah. There's some um, bonus things that... Um, get some extras, extras yeah. if you finish the club. If you get to the last month, surprise! <laughs> so there we go. Now, we so will that continue. Is the so Mediterranean you can scan blend. that code, okay? Yes. Get your camera app out or your QR code app. And if you're having problems with QR codes, we had one of our Crazy Crafters team members, Sue Vine, she kept trying to use the QR code at the restaurant 
and it wouldn't work and it was because she was using a QR code reader so if you're having issues just maybe get rid of that QR code reader maybe just it's scan. dumb you can just scan the code Lena or you in the description below there's a link that yeah. you can click on or just message us and we can send you the link so that is the Mediterranean Blooms and BBBC, Bruno Batucci Big Call, my favourite suite of the entire catalogue. It is very catalog. beautiful. As you can see, I just started yeah. and I could not stop. Yeah. So let's put uh, these. I'll do that for you. Thank you, you very much. On to the next. Our next one is called Take to the Sky. And so this is a airplane theme. <laughs> And it's sort of vintage aeroplane. So it comes with a bundle, Adventurous Sky. This is on the pre-order. Um, this is on the pre-order. So if you are interested in this one, you can add this to your list. Um, Take to the Sky. It also has some of these really cool, if you get the suite or if you buy it individually, it has industrial trinkets. And have a look at these people. Oh, not they these look people. cool. Not pe these people, these slash people. <laughs> They're two-sided. You can use them as like a rivet or you can use this. Um, like a decoration. A decoration. Looks like a little propeller. You can put that over the top of the propeller, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and they're heavy, like they're not, like I was a bit worried that they're very solid, are they? Um, the glue dot wouldn't hold it, but oh it wow, yeah. Oh, so the other side is ah, so you could do it both sides. Both sides, yeah. yeah. I like that. And what would a sweep be without designer paper. series paper? And biplane, yeah. That's as you will called. see. I've used, I've hacked into this as well. So we've got this map imagery. Well, it's sort of like um, topography. Topography. I'm like, what's the word? Thank you, Carly. I remember that. <laughs> Where did that come from? The coffee's kicked in. <laughs> this is a beautiful sheet. It's oh, amazing, like wow. the types of paper that I'm like, oh, this is my favorite of Architecturally the whole suite. graphic. <laughs> I love that one, and I love yeah. that one. And we've got sky. Oh, that's amazing sky. Oh, that one's nice. I really like that one. This reminds me of ten hours later. <laughs> wow. Oh, that one's beautiful. I love the texture in that. <gasps> That's so nice. Lena, I agree. This was probably my least favourite like, mm. the first time I saw it. Yeah. But once you start playing start with playing, it. Yeah. Mm. And this one. And this one, the other side of this one here is this sheet. And this has um, tags and other. It's very cool. I like that idea. So, ready for inspo peeps. That's the suite. So it comes with designer series paper, adventurous sky bundle, and this industrial trinkets. Any ribbon or anything? No ribbon. Because mm. men don't need ribbon. <laughs> men need industrial trinkets. Twine, Kylie. twine. <laughs> men need twine. <laughs> so here is a project I made. Flying by to say hi. I like that. Oh, did you cut the inside? Ah, it's a bit clever. Just use some of the stamping behind it and did some sponging over that. And this die is to cut out the stamped image of the cloud, but I didn't actually stamp the cloud. I just cut out. Oh, that's a bit sentiment. clever. Yeah, the paper always looks better when you see it in real life. It always, I don't know, the catalogue can't, you just can't bring out paper, truly. I only made four in this suite. So this is, now, do you have that card, the sketch card? Yes, I do. That is the sketch, is it? 
Tell me a little sketchy. Where are you? It is in here somewhere. Or is it under here? No, no, I've got it in here. Nice and safe and sound. So safe that I can't Come sound on. it. Yeah. So that's the sketch. And so you can see how these sketches will really assist us. I mean, if you just saw that, would you have thought that that was a sketch like no. based on that? Mm -hmm. But you can see it's basically exactly the same. Yep. Um, so anyway, that's you might not be used to using sketches, but... And we've done a massive change just this last week. Some of you may have noticed with our blog hops and things like that and challenges. So... Who knows? We're, we're still in the like formulating process of what we're going to do moving forward, but we just felt like we needed a change. We needed more flexibility and we might even um, end up doing like one of these sketch challenge hmm. and like base it on a sketch and then everyone can enter in. So we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. So like this that. one here is this little piece here is that, um, the paper. Yes. Yeah. So it's that one there. So you can just cut those out. Mm. So that sketch really lent itself well to that, to that exact layout. Whoa. So here is, okay. So this back one here is designer series paper. This is metallic. It's new metallic. It's new metallic. Paper. We will get to that. It's called textured metallic specialty. And so um, I use that. And these other pieces here are just the smoky slate cardstock with this stamp. Oh, I thought that was paper. No. Ah, smarty pants made your own paper. And look at the plane. Look at the metallic plane. That looks so good. And so in the dies, there's the option of cutting out the stamped images as well as the accent pieces that I are just like that. with no stamping. Yeah. So um, what's this die? Don't look at me like I'm dumb. Did you literally just start? I no, just said that. the background. This background. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I can be like a morning person. But <laughs> okay, yes, good question because I meant to bring that. Gave me was like, can you be any more of an idiot? <laughs> the judgment I felt from your eyes. No, it was just. <laughs> I'm like, are you telling? Are you trying to make a joke? That are you, are you literally not listening to me at all? Okay, yes, so I'm listening. What you will notice <laughs> is that lots of these samples use basic basic dyes things that you have to have in your arsenal. These two die collections are, are available right now. now and these are <laughs> the most standard things that you should have so if you like don't have these, these i love these yeah and these ones here they're like they look a bit like a um coffin but does that <laughs> but they're not <laughs> then, like the first time i saw these i'm like oh is it a coffin but when you use it like this when you use it just standard um, it doesn't. No, I love it. So, and I love how it frames it really nicely. Like even here in this one, that's what Bruno's used. It's a really cool framing type. Yeah, just the basic essential dies that everyone should have. Here's another one. Again, some just some scraps that I had left over, and I just decorated. Yeah, the even envelope. decorating your envelopes, Bruno. And t tell me why you have this piece here. This is so clever, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't have enough to go all the way across. Isn't I only that had smart? Two pieces and yeah, two just... pieces. So we just put that in the middle to hide the seam. I love it. Yeah. Now, do we have Megan Lacornu? Is Megan Lacornu in the house? She is. <gasps> this she, is based she loves on like a. This, type of cards. this is based on a Megan card. So and Megan would have got it from someone. I don't know who Megan got it from. And so this is a little belly band, like. The sentiment is beautiful, mm. and I just made the belly band, stamped it in the same colour. I used the wrong colour, to be honest. Did you? I used Purple Path, and I meant to use I basic love it gray, with Purple Path. That looks really I good. Love it. Yeah. It's a good mistake. Matches it really well. 
Megan looked funny. Am. So you remember this card you sent us, Megan? It was based on, it was teacups. Yeah, teacup. It was when you, oh my goodness, you loved that teacup one. <laughs> Did this wear a coffin too? <laughs> See, I'm not the only one. <laughs> and so anyway, this opens like Ta -da! So it's good for paper that has like a, like a theme too. Yeah. Like you could use it all the way across. And yeah. if you wanted to, you, you could can even do it this side the too. Back. I think Megan did have some writing on the back. And can you please explain what you did with your plane? Okay. This is two pieces. So I stamped it on basic white, mm -hmm. coloured it using stamp and blends. Right. But I didn't like how it had white around the edge. So I just coloured it using the light boho blue. Mm hmm and then I went over the top with Color Lifter. And I did the and same so thing. And so, how over did here. you cut like the base and all this bit, but then have the cloud? Is that like a it's layer two pieces? Yeah. Ah, yeah. So, that's the same thing. I stamped that with yeah. Boho Blue on basic white. It and almost then looks like it you've, the you've cut like it's joined. It looks really good. And it's because of that coloring that I think that's why it looks like it's joined. I like doing a little bit of blends around the outside. Hmm. So yeah, we might make this one as well. Yeah. Um, but I love it. I, it's, it was a beautiful. I think it's a great fold. masculine suite. Like we always keep asking for masculine suites, and I think it's a really, really good masculine suite. I'm glad I've been able to twist your arm with this one, Lena. Yeah. I twisted my own arm. Let's be honest. <laughs> he didn't like it, and then he's like, "I'm really enjoying working with it. I love this die. That looks incredible with the metallic." So there's only four for this suite, unfortunately. Um, but... Oh, what have you been doing, Bruno? <laughs> <laughs> so far, you've seen none of mine, so you're doing very well, Bruno. They're nudie, yeah. nudie. <gasps> They're all nudie. nudie. It, this one isn't. <laughs> you did very well. But like this is this is a like the I sketch. Like the sketch one. Yeah. Cool. It's like it's not. It doesn't that look like a things, simple card. That keeps things simple. I mean, it's simple, yeah. but it's. But it's nice to have something different. Yeah. And something to inspire us by too. Thank you so much, Christine. So make sure that you share this video, and that you like it, and that if you're not subscribed, you subscribe because this is the sort of thing we bring out every catalog, and we'll probably have more of this type of thing when the rest of the items come out too. Now, one thing we want to tell you about, um, May the 1st, when the new catalog is open for everybody, mm. um, all of some of the standard items that are available now are actually increasing in price. Yeah. Um, we supply wanted to give chain, you a bit of warning. From supply chain issues. We want to give you some warning on that. Mm. However, we're telling you this now because mm. you can buy it at the cheaper price right now. Yeah. So go ahead and do that. Cardstock, ink refills, stamp and blends, embossing paste, stamp and spots, the skim and the plates mm. is going to be increasing in price. Punches. Punches, selected note cards and envelopes and other like small things. Vellum is going. Vellum is going. So, so get some vellum, stock up on that if you want the vellum. Yeah. But this is just for the price increase. Mm. Um, we will tell you all about things that are retiring. Mm. As you can see, all those yellow marks behind us. Mm. Um, but this is price, uh, items that are staying in the catalog that are increasing in price on May the 1st. So get it now mm. while you still don't have to and pay I think the higher price. If you've got an order that goes over 169 with those items, you could even sign up Sorry. now. And then that would mean that you're ready to go for the pre-order on the 2nd yeah. of April too. So um, just always be mindful here in Australia that if it's getting to around the 169 mark, which is the joining offer, that you you absolutely 100% are better off signing up and then you're getting the 20% discount on every order after that. So that would be a winner way of doing it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Now, the next one, we don't have the sweets, but we have the designer series paper that Kylie Ooh. won. Did I win it? No, oh, you won something else, but you swapped. I did. Thank you very much, Sue Keating. So I have... Um, I swapped it with Sue behind me. 
We used so much of this paper yes. that I had to put some of it aside so that we could show you. <laughs> We've literally used this half is how much list. this is how much we have left from half a pack. I had fun with this one. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, this is so inspiring, this paper. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, show you this paper. I think we showed you this last time, but we know you don't mind. So, oh my goodness, the vellum has sold out already. Oh, <laughs> that's devastating. Well, hopefully that's a good sign that Stampin' Up! will put it on online exclusives. This paper is called Full of Life, full and of life. it is full of life. It really is. It has its own personality. No, I just want to make sure that I've like, it has its own vibe. It correctly. <laughs> it is a lot of used paper. Check. You'll see why in a moment when you see all the samples. Like, it is beautiful, mm. beautiful, beautiful. And there's now, so many different things you could use it for. Like, that could be used for, like, seascape. And... This reminds me of the Hungry Caterpillar. Yes! It reminded me of that, too. Now, this is not on the pre-order, so you'll have to wait until May to get this one. But that's why we have that list for you people. Yeah, put on the list. Put it on the list. Um... To make sure that you get it when you can. Yeah. So that will be the 2nd of May. Sorry. Of May. You have to wait until the 2nd of May. Oh, Cheryl Hurst is here. Cheryl, did you see that card that we made based on your card? If not, you can go back and have a look. Thank you for the inspo. Thank you for the inspo. I, I love it. It's so good. 12 sheets here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Look 11. at this one. That is my favourite. Oh, I love that one. <gasps> I love that one too. Sue Beasley got this as I love that one too. Prize Patrol. Oh, did you, Sue? Kayla got it too. 12 by 12 vellum is still available. Do we have 12 by 12 vellum? I did not even know that. There's new things you learn every day. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> the Hungry Caterpillar, yeah. It's probably, like, no one understands Hungry Caterpillar except all the Aussies in the house, probably. I oh, know, it's international. Is it international? Book, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a children's book that has been around for... Probably decades. Yeah, since we were young. That's really decades. Oh dear. <laughs> Showing our age there. <laughs> so one side has more of a like colour palette feel and the other one has like a gradient. Love it. We met um a young girl this week <laughs> and she was nineteen and then Bruno suddenly realised, Oh my goodness, you could legitimately be our daughter. <laughs> it was the weirdest feeling, wasn't it? It was very weird. <laughs> So, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. It's called... Full of Life. Full of Life. And let's show us show you some samples. Samples! Let's get the samples. Kylie Jo, tell us oh, about this one. Oh, you're too kind. <gasps> Sue Maddox is in the house. Hi, Sue. Everybody say hello to Sue Maddox. Sue's Sue our team leader. Sue's our team leader. Isn't that nice? So this one here, I actually used the Love For You, which is one of those fantastic... I don't think it was that one. Oh, no, no, it wasn't that one. It was... I've used a few of these. To... Oh, yeah, Wanted To Say. That's the one. So I like this one because it has, like, the little background <coughs> piece to go with it. And, yeah, I thought that the paper is the hero. Yep. And I wanted to be able to, it was a little bit tricky, but I wanted to frame it properly so that I had a border on each side and yep. I wasn't cutting through the squares. So that was a little tricky, hence the sizing. Great. Yeah. But I had to just slightly cut down a little bit on each side because it didn't quite fit. So the top is a little bit thinner because I thought I can hide it a little bit more up the top. But pretty much it's the same on each side. So there was a little bit of fiddling, but I feel it was worth it. And these um, 
gems are I don't think are they the new ones? There's no. like a um It's black shimmer gems. Yeah, there they are there. Oh no, that's not them. But yes, I just thought it needed I tried to use colour, but I was like, nah, it needs something black or matte or but I do like that it's got the bit of glitter in there. And of course, let's do the inside as well. Because why not? Why not? Yes. Okay. Hello. This one here is, I really wanted to use, I haven't actually used this one yet, the Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder. Bruno has tried this one with the um, Brea and he found it a little bit challenging. He found it like a little bit bubbly. So we've got to figure that out. We've got to give it a good try. I love what Kylie did with this. But I ended up um, cutting, like embossing and then cutting using the dies that go with it. And I just used my dauber after the fact. That looks and that beautiful. just made that hello pop. And I really wanted to use that paper. I did hack into it. Again, it was a bit random because I really wanted that starburst to be in the middle, but all of the pieces on the outside will get used because it's just such a beautiful piece. I wanted to actually do another one that was just Thank you, Lena, for watching. The four pieces. Um, but, yeah, I was struggling with this, but I think this is a good alternative and you could even do it, um, yeah, any colour that you wanted. Lighter colours will come up really nicely as well. It just naturally, where it was embossed, it went darker. So I'm happy that that worked out. And then they were just the, they were, they're new, those pearls, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So they are coming up. They're like soon. a neutral, yeah. So I like those ones. And I love doing the square too. I thought I'll do something a little bit different. And I think in the catalog, they've used it like this too, the sample in the catalog. So I've got it from that. This is one of Bruno's. So explain your one. So this is, I just, again, using the stylish shapes. Nice. Just one in um, pool party. We're actually really sad that we didn't understand one of the bundles for the after hours Correct. crafting yeah. is really good nesting circles. Yes. Um. Yeah. When we get to it, we'll sh we'll tell you about it. But yeah, that will be amazing too. So the um, shadow look is just uh, one in. Is that. Oh, yes, and so I cut it, cut it out again. Good question. I cut it out again just using basic white and then just layered it on top just so that – and I tried to make it the amount that I pulled it out by. I want it to be similar to these lines uh, yeah, here because yeah. it just looked better. I did one previously and I just did a slight one and it just didn't look right because it was smaller than this one here. So I tried to sort of match that same line so that just the eye just seemed to be happy with that. Yeah. So, yes, I cut one out with using uh, pool party. and. Did you do a window sheet? One using window sheet. That is so clever. I never, ever would have thought of that. And I Bruno's only... going to be using window sheets instead of vellum now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be your new vellum. But literally, I only <laughs> wanted to do it. I, these are from oh, the funny. ephemera packs. Yeah. So... Stamp free. There's no stamping whatsoever. Wow. This is one of the laser cut pieces. That's clever. This is one of the um, sentiment pieces. And I only put the uh, window sheet there because I wanted... To ground the yeah. sentiment. That's cool. Because this is just paper. It's not Because we could even stock. colour on um, window sheets with blends, couldn't yeah, we? Yeah, that looks So like... if you wanted to have like a vellum look, what colour would you use? Maybe smoky slate or something? You could even use... I can't believe I'm going to say it, but... White paint. Oh, like paint on it. Or glue. Ah, you could use glue. glue yeah, dry so glue. then it would like, just to give it that same look as vellum. That could be an alternative. We've got to think of alternatives for our vellum. <laughs> We're all devastated. <laughs> yeah, I like. I was really surprised. Yeah, Tamara. the window sheet looks really good, Bruno. That's a really nice idea. So there's that. <laughs> Look what Charlotte said. <laughs> Charlotte, is that window sheet? <laughs> <laughs> it's a window sheet. <laughs> so again, it sounds very Australian too. Window. window. <laughs> this is another stamp-free card. This is all. This is just a piece of the designer series paper, and these are ephemera pack. That's mm. it. And I feel like this paper. 
And these ephemera packs, I actually think of um, Sarah's daughter. Shelby. Shelby and Sydney. Look, I just see them loving this paper. Yeah. I feel like they were behind it. And I just feel like it's their generation of paper and using it with the ephemera packs was very clever, Brenna, because that I feel is a match made for that. Look, yeah. I love it, but I feel like it's a way to get the younger generation to... It's a really fun pack. So I had lots of leftover pieces, so I made this. That's cool. Um, I literally just stuck the leftover pieces together and using one of the stylish shapes circles, cut it out. This is using that stamp set, the, um, what was that first one called? Just a note. Oh, or... like the sentiment one with the ephemera pack. Yeah. Ah, um, got it here. Simply said. Just so a note. Literally, just a note. And what was the other one? Thank you. Oh, and that's there as well, is it? Oh, you're there. Thank well, it's you. a good match because you've got script and. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And this is using the. Um, the die that I used is this one here, Nested Essentials. Yeah, we haven't actually done a scrappy card in a while, have we? We need to do a sort of a scrappy card. And this background here is an embossing folder, which prepare for your minds to be blown, people. That's a really amazing embossing folder, that one. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here, Brennan? You've even done the inside. Well, I had leftover bits. Wow. And as you can see, some of the bits didn't stick. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're missing bits. <laughs> Very good. So now, that was that. Oh yes, yes, there's okay. one more. Okay. Now okay. if you if you went to on stage, you saw a project that was made. I'm pretty sure it was made everywhere, but um I made one. For on stage. So this is an there's album. those cups that I said from the ephemera pack where I was like, Oh, they're so cute. So this is this, really cute. I cut that out from the brochure. <laughs> and so I literally got the designer series paper and scored it in half. So this is six by six by three and I made a little album for it. This is one of the new English. That colors. was different to Sarah's one than the edge, wasn't it? I just added a a spine mm. and I could have decorated that. Mm. But this has a little magnet clasp there. You can hear that. Isn't that cool? And they're both ephemera packs. Oh, ephemera everywhere. Yeah. Now there's ephemera throughout ephemera this. Everywhere. <laughs> and there's I don't think there's any stamping, but there is some journaling. So let's Do have a look. Do you wanna see everyone? Do you wanna see? Do you wanna see? You're killing me, Bruno. I wanna see. <laughs> oh So I literally just scored each piece in the middle. I love you too. Ephemera. New designer series paper. That's Petunia Pop. New swag. I've got the same dress on today. <laughs> hey, Deb. Deb, you usually watch on Facebook, so sorry that it wasn't working on Facebook, so I'm glad to see you here. Everyone, <laughs> yes, we want to see it. Hey. My, honestly, this ephemera is, you can use everywhere. Some of our team members... It was very funny to watch, <laughs> Dave. This is Ma Maheshwari, Maheshwari, Maheshwari. and our team. This is Kate Benadi and our team. Hip, hip, hooray. We got the catalogue. Hey, Rebecca, hello. She's in the catalogue. <laughs> I'm looking in the catalogue. She's like, how do I rob a bank? <laughs> Yay. Lovely Leonie. This is Olivia from Melbourne. Leonie Stewart. Leonie Stewart. Olivia. So this is how we excited met Olivia I was. at our very first convention. Yes, it was. How many years ago was that now? Ugh, 14. <laughs> so many years ago. <laughs> this is when I won the paper. That was when I was excited. very excited. <laughs> Ephemera. <laughs> this is the crafting after hours. Yeah, we could even do a video on this. Yeah, it's a good one it was. This, one. this is honestly, this took me about 
20 minutes. It's amazing. So simple. Do I print your photos on your printer? Yes, I did. I didn't have any of these photos printed. Yeah, but what's your printer called? It's a, called a selfie, yeah. S-E-L-P-H-Y. It's an actual printer for photos. But you could get them done at Kmart. Anna! We love Anna. She's in DS. She's so helpful. And these are all the crazies, or some of them. We had 30 of the crazies come along. And what's this party? This is a silent disco. Silent disco. Oh, my goodness. It was so much fun. We had the best time. Even my hairdressers, they were like, oh, that silent disco looks so much fun. <laughs> so we had some Cindy Barman from Hawaii. Hawaii had two of her team and we met them. It was lovely to meet with them. This is Pam Jorgensen. We always love catching up with Pam. Love Pam. Kayla! Kayla. Kayla's here watching. Meshbury. Meshbury. Yeah. And Rebecca's watching. Rebecca. So good. Ooh, I love that paper. But what an awesome way to use paper, first of all. Literally but just fold in half. Fold and then in half. stick them to each other, back to back. Literally, I... So... Fold, Okay, stick. here's the tutorial. Fold, score, score in half. Glue. Glue. Score. score. Stick together. <laughs> There's no other paper. There's nothing... Nothing no joining it. Yeah. The only thing that you did is you do get a piece of cardstock... To cover which the is back. three inches, half an inch, three inches. And Isn't just... that amazing? But yeah, maybe we can do a tutorial for that as yeah. well. Yeah, we'll do a class on it. Free class. Nice. Oh, I love this paper. That is I had a lot full of, fun with of that life. Full of life. And I'm very inspired by your window sheets. Window. <laughs> Okay, if you're following along, turn to page 46, Thoughtful Journey. Thoughtful Journey. There is a bundle called Thoughtful Wishes, which has some beautiful stamped images uh, that have some dyes that cut them out, in addition to having some accent pieces that Love coordinate with that. Pieces, yeah. This is a million dollar stamp set from Laurie Krauss. Thank you, Laurie. Congratulations. On your million dollar sales. So this has some oh, adhesive the... backed pearl tree trim. And um, only 0.1% of demonstrators worldwide earn the million dollar. <laughs> Probably less. Probably less, yeah. <laughs> 0. 0.0001. So this has two packs of designer series paper um, with this. Um... So this is specialty paper. So it's special, all special. right. Special. Now I think I have the colours here. I stuck them down. Okay. So the all of the colours are Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Petunia Pop, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. Hey, I see. So you can see that they start in one color and go into another color, but it. I think it. Some of them, it sort of goes into a darker version of one color, mm. and into a lighter version. So there's five sheets in this pack of specialty paper. The pack is called Thoughtful Designs. So just a heads up, and we'll actually show you. We can show you the back. But just keep all of the – look, Bruno's actually added it to the – Because it was stuck on the plastic and I didn't want that. So don't lose this. This is a really clever idea because in the catalogue, it doesn't necessarily have all of the colours mm. and it doesn't list it like it does there. Is it single-sided? So, Good question, Val. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And so it has embossing. It's a silvery – emboss yeah yeah so it's got that shimmer to it amazing smell oh my goodness it's like does it smell so much chemical <laughs> <laughs> now that's one pack of the designer series paper the other pack is if you haven't seen this people prepare for your mind to be blank 
Again, I had to put it in a bag so that we have <laughs> to show you. <laughs> so we know what side is like, yeah. Because this is 40 to 8 sheets, this one. Yes. We're only showing you half of that. Yes, 24. So one so side is like a back, plain. plain background pattern, and the other side is a beautiful watercolour. Thanks, Beck. Thanks for jumping on. Oh, love this paper. It is just so, so, so gorgeous. I want to say pretty, but Brenna doesn't like the word pretty, but it's really gorgeous. You can say pretty just as long as it's not about my cards <laughs> or me. <laughs> <laughs> but you are pretty. Two, four, six, eight. Nine. Ten. Love this one. I love that one too. Did we both use that one? I think so. Yeah. 11, 12. 12, Ooh. yes, we um, both had, fun with, had fun with this one. In fact, I think I miss mm. arranged that. Mm. Oh my goodness, you missed it, uh, misarranged it. Can you pass it to me? I'll have a look. Pass what? The cards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. Love that, that. Oh, so beautiful. And that one there. I didn't. Yeah. Yes, that one. Yeah. That one. Wow. You know, Stampin' Up! has done something similar to this before. But, yeah, not love, the same. but that paper was beautiful too. Everyone loved that paper too. So I'm glad they've got like a version, which, yeah. Okay, so yes, it's that one. Yes, it's that one. It's just so do you want to see some samples with this paper and the sweet, thoughtful wishes? We would be happy to oblige. I really want to use the specialty paper with the paper paper. So I did this combo here, beautiful. which I thought was really beautiful because it's almost like the specialty paper is framing that one there. And it just is a really beautiful font as well. Like, look at that font. Sorry. You had me at font. I love a script with a, what do you call it? Sans serif. Serif and yeah. Sarah. So it's very like this could be male based or female based. And I think it's just a really nice simple like I was gonna add embellishments. I'm like, no, I just want that to be the hero of the story, the beautiful backdrop. And I've put that on dimensionals, and of course we've got the inside piece because we've got all this beautiful paper. There's 48 sheets. So why not decorate inside as why well? Why not? Why not, yes. Yes. And so, yeah, the layers are I, – actually, the only thing I would possibly change is I was going to put basic white on the outside. I think that would actually look good with this. I've done the um, Midnight Muse. Is it – what's the – Misty Moonlight. Mi Misty Moonlight as the font because I thought that goes really nicely with that. But, yeah, that's probably the only thing I would change is maybe just have a sheet of basic white or no layer in between at all. Here Bruno. is one. So again, that's a similar well, layout. Yeah, similar layout. Mm. So this, I just stamped it using basic black and coloured it using mossy meadow and wild wheat. Amazing, and that's wild wheat, isn't it? it looks really Correct, good. Yeah, I like where you've placed your wild wheat because it's like placed towards the end of the because that section there is mossy meadow. Mm. And then as you come further down, that's the wild wheat. So, yeah, it's really interesting playing with that specialty paper and then trying to match it too because it moves into different colours depending on where you cut it. And these are those pearls that are in the suite. They are called Adhesive Backed Pearl Trio. Adhesive Backed Pearl Trio. Great. Here is another one. This was like a case of the catalogue. It's, yeah, so similar. the similar... 
layout to one on the catalog. I did it to the edges. I loved how in the catalog it had mm. this edge bit. And so I just cut along the image and just Isn't adhered that clever? it. What colour is that, Kylie? <gasps> what is the colour, everyone? The colour is called Basic Beige. Basic Beige. It's a new neutral. And it is... Stunning. Brenner's used it's it your go-to. Yeah. Especially with this, you're going to see some beautiful cards that Brenner's done. And he just was like, yes, Basic Beige and this paper is like best friends. So in addition to just using Basic Beige, I actually use some... Um, a blending brush using basic beige just to give it a bit of depth. depth. There. Mm. Make that colour pop. Yeah. I think this is my big call. I think that this suite is going to be the favourite of most. Here is another one I made. So I actually used, I found something in our stash called envelope paper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? In Do we this? still have it? Is it still available? No. It's not it's available, so, so good if they but you could that use. Bag. You could I think just we should use, sandbox that. <laughs> just use um. Basic we need envelope paper, and we need the envelope punch board back again. <laughs> but it's actually like the same paper. Yeah. So. It's so cool. Yeah, I loved it. I just did some stamping, and that's just using this stamp over and over and over again. Mm. Using. Yes, Marie, me, me, meandering meadows. Meandering that's meadows, one. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And the colours, yes, are much prettier. <gasps> Dead. Dead. Oh, my goodness. So beautiful. Oh, wow. So what is that dye? So that is using Garden Meadows. Garden Meadows. So you're going to have to add that. You can get that now, can't yes, you? Yes, you can buy that now. That's now. That's available. using one of the pieces. So just get Garden Meadows ready for this suite. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the pieces so of designer beautiful. series paper. This is okay. So this is a die from the Garden Meadows set. It's a grass piece, and I just I love cut how them, you've layered that. Cut them into the corner. I actually didn't notice that you'd had dies there. Yeah. Huh? And this is a basic white. It's actually thick basic white, which mm. is going. No, the basic, no, basic yeah. thick vanilla. Thick basic white. White is staying. We would be all having a meltdown <laughs> if the white was going. But it looks like it's basic beige <laughs> around the outside. It, it is, but I used a blending brush just to give it a bit of... Now you know what to use it for, Judy. She's got 10 packs of the envelope paper. Make your own square envelope. Yes, and I also use the... Um, I forget what that... Brick. Exposed brick, is it? It's not exposed brick, it's the other one. Yeah. And I actually used these shimmer gems. They look really good. They look like Petrinia little pop. they look like little flowers. Yeah. So yeah, any of the images that from this designer series paper, pop it behind this arch. Yeah. Stunning. You got it. And any embossing folder. Any embossing folder, yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow. And because I had a strip left. Why not? Why not? That's gorgeous. Well done. I'll do that. Thank you very much. And this is the last one I made. Now, you might remember this design. We made this uh, using the Meandering Meadows um, paper mm. a couple months ago. And so that just opens like that. Oh, what... I love it. Yes, exposed brick folder. That's the one, Charlotte. No, I made a mistake. You can't, I shouldn't draw attention to it, but I will. Ah, oh, you could not see that. It just looks like it's part of the accent. Oh, but that's yeah. really cool. You can do the writing there if you want. Did you chop on the wrong side? I did. Yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> we've all done that. <laughs> Hi, Cherie. But yeah, this is you could use do the writing there, or if you wanted yeah. to, you could just put a piece on the back. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, really? Thank you, Siri. <laughs> but yeah, the, we uh, were both very inspired mm. by this um, project, this mm. um, suite. suite of products. Yep. Very nice. They're not all mine, Christine. Kylie did some cards there. So now, next one is Country Woods. 48. Now, this is a mega bundle. Mega bundle. So it has two. 
bundles, country birdhouse. She's snoring. Yes. <laughs> and country flowers. Uh, it has the basic grey oh, yeah, yeah, and smoky are. slate pearls. These are a must have. There is 160. Put that on your shopping list, everyone. On. The hmm. Four packs. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited by those. And they are. They, they are neutral enough to basically use on any project. That's a big call, Bruno. Yes. I just, now, tell me about this one. What did you say when you first saw that? I'm like... A what? birdhouse. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> but you wait. Oh, my goodness. Bruno literally has sold this week to himself. <laughs> haven't even opened this. Oh, these are gorgeous. How did you not show me these? <gasps> I totally would have used that. Oh my goodness, I love them. Petal pink and white, as shown on wow. the. I love a white ribbon because we can make that any color we want. Mm. Yes, thank you, Stamp. So it listening. is diagonal trim combo. And we put this on because it doesn't have a label on it. And once it disappears, once it disappears. From it, it's like, what on earth is that? <laughs> you forget. So yes, label it. What I do love about this, um, and I don't know if they've done this before, but I love that it's exactly the same artist yes. with the exact same font and the same style of drawing. Um, really clever because you can interchange this with each other and they're going to match, which I'm really excited about Stampin' Up! doing something like this. I think it's very smart. Now, Tamara asked, could you colour the pearls with blends? We've 100%, done it before. 100%, yeah. Um, the base is not white, so it might not mm. come up exactly the, co the same colour, but mm. it will definitely work. We've done that in the past. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Joe? She said she can't stop laughing. Maybe it's because you sold this to yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is house. <laughs> also, I don't know where the cover is, but this is also on the, and we've used this a couple times in the project, so you'll be able to see that. Mm. Um, Islet 3D in He sold corner. this to himself. <laughs> I thought it was that. He really did. He literally was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> this now, is actually really nice. This is a mega bundle, like we said. So there is not one but two what? packs of designer series paper. Get out of town. Now, of the two, I have one of them is this is like – a neutral, like it's, there's nothing offensive about this pack. This is a denim pack. You might remember I used this one on the um, Mediterranean one. This could pair very easily with the Mediterranean suite. Mm. And this is a lacy lace. That's the name, country lace. <laughs> Did you want a top up of your Beverageino? I would love one. Did someone say Beverageino? They did. Did someone Thank say Beverageino? I said it, Kylie. Beverageino! Beverageino! <laughs> 50 Shades of Beige, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Just one shade. Now, if you are enjoying this video, please uh, consider liking this video. And if you have some friends, maybe you have some team members that didn't get to on stage that you think might benefit from uh, seeing all these goodies, please feel free to share this product, uh, this video with them. So that is the Country Lace. Now, what colours are in the Country Lace Designer Series paper? We have Basic Beige, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, and Smoky Slates. So that is Country Lace. Let's have a look at Country Woods. Now, of the two, if I had to have a favourite, Country Woods is definitely my preferred... Um, favorite of the two. This 
would be amazing. Like if you don't have a photo studio, you can use this for backgrounds of your photos. Oh, that's a good idea. So there's another one. Look at that, people. Wow, stunning. Check this out. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. And then we get to some normal timber. <laughs> and then back to some rustic. Beautiful. And my favorite sheet. Isn't that stunning, people? Look at that. Look at it. it. Reminds me of a beach holiday somewhere. At a rustic beach hut. So that is the Country Woods Sweet Collection, two sets of designer series paper, two bundles, an embossing folder, and the um, Smoky Slate Pearls. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Baby, let the guys make it. Let the guys make it. Okay, so here's our first project. <gasps> Dead. Dead. Oh my goodness. Brito sold it to himself. I sold it to myself. <laughs> okay, so let's Explain. just analyze. Let's break it down. I stamped the birdhouse on designer series paper. That's from the what? lace. What? You stamped it on designer series paper? Yeah. <sighs> and I colored using blends. And again, down here, it's the same designer series paper that I stamped it on. That's one piece. And I colored it using um, pecan pie blends. I cut this out. This is one of the dies in the collection. And I, I cut it out using foam adhesive sheets. Oh, I love foam adhesive sheets. And someone else suggested coloring the bird using blends. I did. And then I thought, no, it's too dark. So what did I do? Colour lifter. Colour lifter. You love the colour lifter. And this is an embossing folder that I don't think I've talked about no, yet. No, it's coming but soon. it's... Swirly swirl. It's pretty good. It's amazing. I I'm so excited by it. That's just layered on a piece of Misty Moonlight and then on a card base that is... Pecan. Pecan. And is it nudie? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. I'm really surprised about... St I always forget about stamping on paper. Very smart. Now, this one here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, as opposed to... I didn't stamp this one. I just cut it out using the dies, using oh. designer series paper. This one here, I stamped the wood image yeah. onto pecan pie and then cut it out. <gasps> That looks embossed. Wow. That's great. And there is quite a few layers of... What's the wood image? In the country birdhouse, there's a wood image. Oh, there. Nice. I would have missed that. And so then there are layers that you can... Um... So I cut <laughs> that out using foam adhesive sheets. I stuck a piece of basic black to a foam adhesive sheet, oh, and then I just coloured the, the edge. The edge. So it looks... Sorry, I'm leaning over. I want to see what Honey Bee wrote. I'm not getting the birdhouse bundle. I'm not getting the birdhouse <laughs> bundle. Oh shoot, it's on my list. Sorry. <laughs> 
is an enabler here, an enabler. I enabled myself. myself, honestly. <laughs> I was not interested in this at all, but it's a really nice. Oh, bundle. just in the background, I just use a blending brush using um, pool party. Pool party blending. Stunning. I was going to use a pool party background, but I just think it just gives a bit of... Mm. Do you, does that explain it? Oof. Yeah. Now, what else do we have in here? <laughs> There's a couple more. Yes. Oh, yes. I like these ones. Yes. So this is using the other bundle. This there we is, go here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Some designer series paper. In the background, that's one of the sheets in that set and just coloured using blends. That is just literally so stunning. And it's just a stamped image on paper. I just love it. And I love that you haven't had to frame it because the size of the image on this is actually perfect for Love It, Chop It. Yeah. So you don't even need to add, like normally an image is too small on our cards. And we sort of have to add something to frame it properly. But this is framed beautifully without having to add any layers behind. And I just love, like that paper, Dead. just gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. So beautiful. So the colours I use. colouring is just gorgeous. And, again, colour lifter is the key for this because yeah. I coloured it and it, oh, it's too dark. So I just. And see how he's, like, grabbed the colour lifter here and it just creates such a beautiful like on the leg of the chairs, it just creates a really nice look. Interesting what you've done here. So you haven't coloured all the way along to the edge. The or idea. The paper? No, that's the um, colouring. That idea is in the catalogue somewhere. Amazing. That's really smart. Yeah. But that's like there's That a, would take a, a lot. I would have to hold myself back from not colouring all the way. <laughs> that would be really hard for me. It's but like it the good. bottom has been dipped in paint. Yeah. White paint. Yeah. yeah. It's that shabby chic look. 100%. And Beautiful. Like, there not, probably wouldn't be blue flowers. I'm sure there is somewhere. Oh, I love all that, There though. probably wouldn't be. But I Wild wanted to keep flowers. in. Yeah. In. Thing oh, I love that. all those colours. Fantastic, That Bruno. is the Country Wood Sweet Collection, people. Oh. We're, we're literally. Oh, no. We haven't we haven't got him yet. Almost. We get, we're get. we persuading you, Bruno. You're getting there. Oh, and this card base is basic Basic base. base. So you can see I used it quite a bit on these yeah. projects. Good. Next is well Unbounded done. Beauty. Bruno Sweet sold us, hasn't he? Who, who was like on the fence or didn't want that and now is going to get it? <laughs> page 52 to 55. We have two the Unbounded Beauty Sweet collection. It has two bundles, mm. Flowers of Beauty and Unbounded Love. This is a floral, no sentiments. This is... Only sentiments. So do you want to just have a look at the stamp sets, Kylie? I would love to have a look at the stamp sets. Uh, that one goes there, that one goes there. This one here is a million sales achiever for Debbie Moxek. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. We appreciate your, all your efforts with this stamp set. Because we can imagine that it's very stressful. <laughs> I would be like panicking. <laughs> Do they like it? Yes, we like it. <laughs> Thank you. So Unbounded Love is the stamp set. Lots of different sentiments there. And a mixture of um, handwriting and serif. Serif sans serif. script. S yeah. Not sans serif because it's got the things, but mm. serif. Um, lots of different sentiments there. And to coordinate with that, we have a set. I love these. Lots of different sentiment yeah. um, frames. tablets, yeah. frames, yeah. And some other accent pieces that go well yeah. with that. So Kylie's used those a few yeah, times. Yeah, and a bit of fun with that one. Now this and just keep in mind that this sentiment too is a percentage one. So what is it, 80%? It doesn't say oh, 80%, yeah. yeah. So it's bigger. So it's photopolymer and bigger. Yeah. Which, yeah, really good size. Do not be deceived by the front cover when it arrives. It's like, oh, it's bigger than I expected. Now, this is two step stamping, not reversible, but two steps. So you can use these in conjunction. These ones go together, these ones go together, these ones, these ones, and these ones, and these ones. 
So you can... Um, and then do these two go with this too? They sort of do. Uh -huh. um, yeah. There are frames so that cut them out. Uh -huh. They don't line up perfectly. If some, they, they sent, The samples in the catalogue don't really show... Um, yeah, because it doesn't look like it lines you up. You can, mm. but it doesn't line up exactly. So right. the thing is, is that these cut out in pieces, so you oh, can... Oh, so then you stick it you on after. That's what it is. Okay. I'm like, I'm trying to understand, because these are just leaves. So, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You can just stick them. Oh, yeah. is that spam? Oh, no, no. Sorry, Vows. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be very exciting. This will be available in Spanish. Spanish. Espanol. Oh. I saw that um, Sarah's daughter is going to be going to somewhere in Spain. Chile. So she, Chile, that's right. So she's going to be learning Spanish. So maybe you'll see she more Spanish. She probably already knows Spanish. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, resin dots. These yes. are in the in colours. Thank you, resin dots. They're yes, beautiful. Yes, I love them. Do I like them? Yes. <laughs> yes. And there are two packs of designer series paper. Actually, one of them is a specialty designer series paper. And as you can see, we've Ooh. already used it. So we have... Was it 12 by 12? Yes. <laughs> we can have Petunia Pop. Isn't it beautiful? Summer Splash. Wow. Peach Pie. Pretty in Pink. And, and Shy Shamrock. Shy Shamrock. He's not looking very shy there. He is like extrovert shamrock. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So Kayla was very sad to see the silver glimmer go, but Stampin' Up have provided. And what I love about this glimmer no, is that nothing comes off. Glitter comes off. <laughs> yes, it's uh, really good. Yeah, a so lot of these the colors. 2024 to 26 in color glimmer add special to cut. pack. Yep. Add to cut or add to list. Yeah. And this is the unbounded beauty. Bruno, you're unbounding in beauty. Really? Yeah. Is that what you really think? Yeah. That's why I, I said it. Did I tell you all that I made mozzarella? Yes, you did. Just saying it again. I'm mozzarella. really proud of myself. I need to pull it out of the fridge. Apparently, you can drink the whey. <laughs> Bruno just vomited. It's pure protein. Wow. I can add it to my protein drink. Do you think it would be nice? No. It would smell like vomit. <laughs> we know um, of a, in Tasmania, where Kayla's from, there's a guy called Hart Sean Gin, and his mum and dad have got Just a dairy. A They've got a dairy um, where they make cheese. And so he turns the whey into vodka and gin. <laughs> like, that's so smart. No, Look I at feel this! Like there's not enough. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This one. Now, one of the uh, this one here that's yes, highly used, used in the entire used sheet. Yeah. So there's this one and this one. Yes. You got it on stage, Cheryl. Oh, that's great. It's very nice. So that is the Unbounded Beauty Sweet Collection. It has the designer series paper, the Glimmer Specialty and the dots and the two bundles oh we didn't um talk about this one here so this has some flowers in a row so you can either use that negatively or you can use it positively um and you can make shaker cards what amazing so there we are kylie joe thank you are you doing grocery shopping? I need Am I that boring? No, because we've got the karaoke night tonight and I'm meant to be making donuts and I don't have enough butter. Is it someone, even open? Because someone keeps making fun of how much butter there is. It is it even open today? It's a public holiday yeah, today. it says it's open. Let's look at some samples. <laughs> Kylie Jo, you're going to have to walk us through some samples. Yeah, of course. I'm here. Even though I look like I'm not. <laughs> I'm always here. So... What do we have here? We have two layers of paper. I actually um, really, really love the glimmer paper for smaller accents. Yes. Because um, I didn't want it to be too OTT, but if you wanted to, you could have 
you know, put it in the background. But this layout is the same as the layout that I used for this one here. So it's very similar. Slightly small. I wanted more showing. So I think that one there, if you have our card template tutorial, I think I did that one. I did the pretty peacock and the coastal cabana. Uh, yeah, coastal cabana. That's the size if you have the card templates. But this one here, I'm pretty sure. What did I use for that one? What are you? Who are you? I think I did, yes. I think I did Highland Heather and maybe Petal Pink. Let's have a look at those two. Mm, no, that's not the right one. Don't you love that you can just check? You're like, mm, is it this one? I don't know which one I used. I must have been in a really, really... Maybe it's Barney Blue. Did you no, write it down tall. on the sheet? No, I didn't do that one. I only did one um, where I wrote it down. Maybe it's Knight of Navy. No. What are you, which one is it? I'll have to get the measurements. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. How embarrassing. Unless, oh, you know what? I probably didn't put them back, whatever one it is. It's one, that, it's one that's been used and I haven't returned to where it should go. That would be right, wouldn't it? That would be a Kylie thing to do. Anyway, it's you could use the same thing. It's almost seven centimetres. It's Knight of Navy. Highland Heather was definitely one of them. What's this side? Yeah. Yeah, it has to be Highland Heather. Yes, that's the background. And then what's the next one underneath Highland Heather? Ooh, it's Lost Lagoon. That's why I didn't look at it because I'm like, what is this colour? It's an updated colour. There we go. Lost Lagoon. That's the other one. So Highland Heather, Lost Lagoon. And then the paper is always my go-to layer of choice, which is poopy parade a bit of poopy and then your card base and you can do gorgeous grape or the other one calypso coral which i don't know where that card base has gone i have to find you it. sound surprised shush <laughs> but yes that is the layers so if you wanted to replicate that <laughs> template and it goes really nicely i wanted it to be smaller because these frames are quite small, right. so I need to frame it a bit, but this was a bit too big for the frame, so I went smaller. So that's a good example, everyone, that you don't have to use them for sentiments. sentiments. You can use can them as a layer. a layer, an accent piece like that. Yeah. And if you wanted to, you could even extend it the way you cut it. I'm sure there's a way of extending it. Like if you, cut, if you like cut halfway and then extend it. Have you ever done that? Yeah. It's good to do. So there you go. That's the... Usually it's the other way. Make it smaller. Yes. But you can make it bigger too. So here's that another one. one. And then this one here. So I think if I was to do this one again, I would probably use less busy paper in the background because what I've actually done is just cut out some pieces from the dies that come in this suite. And I have... Where is it here? Yes, this one here. And I've done it three times, but then I sponged it and then stuck it back in. So I think, yeah, if I was to do this one again, I would probably use paper that's just a little bit less busy. And then you'd be able to see it a little bit better. Because right now, I don't know if you can see that it actually joins. Or maybe sponge that a little bit less. But yes, I really love this that's paper. That's a great way to use that. And of course, got to do the inside. That's why we don't have that paper anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I used a whole sheet. <laughs> there we go. There's more? Yes. Oh, yes, this one here. So I really enjoyed doing this one here because it's so simple. It's a beautiful love at chocolate. And can you believe I'm working with pink people? Oh, my goodness. Pink people? Yeah. Pink people. Can you believe it? I'm using pink. Slash 
comma, people. people. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, I um, did a frame and I did three layers. So if you ever want a frame like this to sort of stick out, because it was quite, it just looked a bit flat and it wasn't framing that sentiment as much as I'd like. Um, so I stamped that and I'm like, oh, there's so much white space. So that's great. I made it a little bit like closed in by putting this, the embellishments on there that, you know, took away that white space. And then I've layered this a few times so that then it has that beautiful like 3D frame. You could have done this using um, foam adhesive sheets. However, when it comes to that detail, yeah, it's a bit, it's too, a bit too fiddly. Yeah. Oh, look what else you did. So one of them you put that way, mm -hmm. and the other ones you put that way. So these these are separate. So oh, oh yes. Oh okay okay. Yes. So there's some few. There's a few here that you can cut right. individually, which is what I put here, and then this little piece here is this little guy. So I did one of those to stick out the side. So just very simple, but I love that you can accent it with you know it's like a lover chopper but stepped up a bit. Yeah. And I love this idea. Of course, of course. inside. Yes. I love that. Yeah, I love the layering. That's a really nice thing to do with your dies, um, particularly with this sort of die. Layering it like that is mm -hmm. really pretty. So, yeah, that was those. So Who would have thought is... I would be interested in? And this? you know, I'm interested in that because that's exactly yeah, what that I would was look like. Great. Like You're I like wanted. It's a bit flat. Mm, it's yeah. a bit flat. Yeah, and that would just make it pop. So this is that stamp where, you know, you can sort of put it wherever you want. Um, the two-step, mm. you know, the flower one. Oh, I see. Yes, so I yes, used yes. four of the ink colours here. I used Shy Shamrock Summer Splash in the leaves and then the two pinks over in the flowers. And this is the glimmer in the background just to give a bit of a... Um, Hello. <laughs> I'm here. And I, <laughs> I did do, that in I two, do exist. <laughs> did that in two um, colours there. And, of course, the designer series paper in the background. Did I do a nudie run? No. Ah. Good job. No nudies. Nudie so nudie. I just stamped that one in, I think I stamped it in Shy Shamrock and just coloured it with the two blends in um, peach pie. It's great. And the last one is a bit more. <laughs> so I... This is really clever, this one. Rather than cutting out the flowers to use, Bruno used the dye to create a background. Now, like unfortunately, it. the... Like, because it goes through... The, it went through the um, skim a few times, it left a bit of a... Um, but it looks like an embossing folder. Yeah. So the, um, while <laughs> I said, unfortunately, yeah. it's a design feature. Yeah, is what I'm I really you. like it. Um, so I used basic beige, cut that out, and then I stuck a piece of peach pie behind it and then added it up on dimensionals. It's great. This is two-step stamping. Um, so I used the... Um, petal pink and calypso coral for those and for this one here I used soft sea foam and I think I used old olive great and this one here is using the sentiment I just did white emboss on petal pink and I felt it was a bit um, flat and so I just added some blending just to pop the um Flowers, is it? The oh, sentiment. the sentiment. Yeah, I like that. It's a really great idea doing a bit of a sponge over the top of, especially on the lighter colours. And that is the Unbounded Beauty Suite. Look, it's very out there, but look at it individually, not as a collective, I think is the key. Because there's certain papers that don't necessarily match one, each other, but when you look at them individually... They're fantastic. Now, 57 people. This, Ooh. I have a feeling this is going to sell Better out too cheap call. very quickly. Yeah, it's a really good one. This is beautiful. 
So this Stunning. comes, you can buy this all as a bundle, so that together, and masks. So you can use this by itself. You can stamp that, colour it, perfect. You can then stamp it, colour it, cut it out. You can then uh, stamp it, colour mask. It. <laughs> you can stamp, mask, cut. Like it's... You can stamp. And blend. You don't even have to use the mask. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so this is a set of five, I think it is. And they're, cut, they're numbered on the top, so you can do them in that order. And you can see I've used it quite a bit. So they're the leaves, and these three here are the flowers. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stamp. And it's at 85%. It's also a million sales achiever. This is Shelley Godby. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you, Shelley. It's and gorgeous. so you can see it's a mega stamp. Does it say on the front that it's percentage? I just said that, 85%. Oh, 85%. Yeah. Sorry. I was distracted because everyone was right. The shops are closed. Oh. What am I going to do? I've got no butter. It might I'm, short, later. I'm short by 20 grams. No, 30 grams. 40, 50, 60, 70. Yeah, 30 grams. You might be able to I make some. I could probably use some Nundalek. What later, about later? I don't have cream. Honey. What about later? Does it open later? No, it's good. It's closed all day. What about the petrol station? Oh, yeah, that, that might have some. Yeah. Mm. True, good point. So, if you are making a list, which... Hello. Checking it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Add this to your list, and this should be the first thing you order because yes. this is going to be very popular. While I love the Mediterranean suite, yeah, this is gorgeous. This is going to be a must, 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 must. I didn't have. get to play with it because Bruno was holding it. Um, this is a. Do you have samples? At the bundles, yes, I do. <laughs> Here we go, people. I've only got Prepare three. Yourselves. I've only got three of this one. So the first one, I didn't use the mask. Right. Whoa. This okay, is a what have five by seven card, so it's yeah. a bit bigger. And I did it twice. Yeah. I white embossed on white and then used blending brushes. Nice. Just to do a bit. I love this accent here too. Very nice. Yep, that's a nice. I like this little one here. I think that's really cute. And so you use those dies there. Yeah. And these are sweet too. You could use them. Uh, which ones? Are, yeah, I use those ones. I cut yeah. them other ones out, but I no, found I think those, those are nice. Bit, bit nicer. Yeah. And so this is just laid on a piece of. And you've got new embossing folder there. Yes. The dotty one. That's great. Um, on a layer one. of old olive and berry burst. Berry burst. Nice. And that goes with the. Yep. And that's what you sponged. Correct. Yep. Perfect. And here I um, white embossed on Berry Burst and just did a bit of blending over the top of that mm -hmm. just to pop. Nice. Very so good. So that's the first one. Another 5 by 7 card is here. Whoa. So this is using the mask. That's using the masks. And I used Summer Splash and, oh, no, I think I used Calip um Coastal Cabana, and... I reckon that's Summer Splash and Coastal Cabana. I, I like think Summer it's Splash. Coastal Cabana twice. Oh. And Petal Pink. Wow. I don't think I had the colours. The yeah, we didn't yet. have the ink yet, did we? And so... And there's that embossing folder again that you'll see soon. Yeah. And your coffin. The coffin <laughs> centre. <laughs> And interestingly, it's basic beige, but Britta has sponge basic beige on the thick cardstock. Correct. I like that look. I wouldn't have thought of doing that. I would just like put a layer, but that's a really nice way to make it look sort of opaquey, like. Yeah. That's my replacement. What's it, what's it called when you when you? That's my replacement you for do the light. The, Disperse? No, what's it called? Like spotlight Diffuse. or no. something? Shadowing. It's your shadowing behind. Very nice. Um, and so you can see how big the image is. This is a five by seven card. Mm -hmm. 
It's a big, and big flower. And it fills flower. the five by so seven. So you could even cut it down. Like you might even cut it down here through that centre piece there if you find that it's a bit too big for your normal card. However, it this fits. This is on the normal card. This is on a normal card and that's... Um, Whoa. So what did I do here? Yes, what did you do here? I stamped it using basic beige. What? And then I used the masks over the top. And so, so it looks like a no line. Yeah, I wanted to give the no line effect. And what colours did I use? Um, okay. It looks like floaty. I used... Um, the first one is... Petunia... No. No, it's not Pretty Petunia in pop. pink. Yeah, pretty in pink. Then over the top of that, I used... Floaty Flamingo. Mm. Then over the top of that, I used... Berry Bits. Me no. me melon Mambo. Oh, Melon Mambo. Wow. And I love it on the background paper. Like the way that you've done that paper and then cut it out, absolutely beautiful. That paper is the country lace paper. Really nice. Yeah, I had a feeling too, that that Holly. would be, um, yeah. yeah. And that no line effect, yeah, like it's really, pretty. really, really so nice. So pretty, Bruno. You have to accept this is pretty. Okay, that right? one's pretty. It has nothing to do with you. We're not calling you pretty. Your card is pretty. It's very nice. And again, that standard um, stylish shapes. Oh, that's for the Mustard. sentiment. Ah, that's a good one. Okay, we're not finished yet, people. Well done. How long have you been going for, Bruno Batucci? I don't know. Almost two hours. Woohoo! Thank you for staying with us all this time, everyone. I mean, I would be interested too with all these samples. Attention shoppers. Attention shoppers. Now we, I, ha I have this someone to blame for this one. We did not this we placed our pre-order and this was not on the pre-order. Yeah, we were like, nah. We, we went to on stage and Michaela Titherich <laughs> did a she presentation us. and she enabled <laughs> us. We're like I think we even added it as she was doing her presentation. <laughs> Fred's like, nah, we've got to, we've got to get it now. So uh, this is on page sixty-five. If you're following along, are these too big to use with the birdhouse? Because I see this with the birdhouse. Oh, you could use it. You just have to cut it down. Yeah, yeah. Because the birdhouse is pretty big. The birdhouse is pretty big. Mm. So this is a photo polymer stamp set and has some beautiful <laughs> sentiments. That. Photo polymer. Now, Kylie had a good time with this one. I did. I had fun with this one. Tutorial in shoeing. So I think the first one I'll show is this one because I really enjoyed this one. This is what I envisaged when I first saw it is like all the shopping carts like lining up like that. Yep. And I was very, very excited to see that silver foil is returning it's a 12 by 12 coming in the catalog so i had catch some because okay. it's not available yet but um i was Silver very happy and i just colored with the black blend oh what a good on idea the wheel and on the handle and that's black and boss and this is the eyelet folder right because i just wanted something and you used it face accent. down too correct wow and yeah i've just gone for the two um colors that go so well together the bubble gum um pink is it bubble bath bubble bath yes and the new petunia pop great they're really beautiful together a really nice combo and yeah so i really enjoyed stacking them up and yeah it just it just reminded me it's like okay it's time to go shopping like just that feeling of pulling out your trolley when they're stacked up like that and interestingly, Bruno used to be a trolley, trolley boy. boy. I did. So I thought of you when I stacked them up. Uh, thank you. <laughs> How old were you when you were a trolley boy? 19, 18. Were you really? Yeah. Wow. Did you get really strong? No. Like King Kong? No. no. Do they get out of control? Uh, no. It's no. amazing, huh? So, yes, I really enjoyed that, and I love the new Petunia Pop, even though I'm not a normally a purple or a pink girl, but look at the purple and the pink, everyone. Amazing. So that's that one, and I've got my little destructions there. And do you like the inside decoration? Love it. I thought, well, let's, instead of paper, let's do 
an embossing folder. So that's another idea for decorating inside your card. Now this next one is epic. Actually, I'll let you show you yours and then and then we'll do mine last. Okay, so this is another one. Um, this is using... Um, oh yeah, Kylie had a leftover one of those, so yeah. I used that. I said, help, help yourself. And but I he just... didn't put his handle on. Oh, I didn't know that. Because <laughs> I'd coloured the wheels but not the right. handle. So I just coloured that using the same colours in the background. This is from that designer series paper, Full, Full of, of Life. life. Mm -hmm. I added a layer of Blackberry Bliss and a oh, layer under Berry there. Bliss? And oh, I just coloured using the same basic black. So that's a simple card there. And another one? That one, yep. This is. I like plans. that Bruno's showing you don't need to use the trolley. You don't need to use the trolley, yes. So um, you could repeat that over and over again, that flower. These are the five in colours. Oh, that's a good idea. And mm. this is using the one ah, of these. Smart. And then made and it I just a made tag. it into a tag. Oh, gee, clever. Yeah, I just stamped them in a row, just freestyle. Um, of course you did. Mine would be all over the shop. <laughs> <laughs> if you look closely, they're not <laughs> super. No, straight. they're very straight for someone using their eyeball. <laughs> Yeah. And this one's really interesting that Bruno's done. Okay, so. <laughs> Super interesting. I was like, how even did you do that? So it looks like I stamped on. Um, post it note yellow. Post it note yellow. <laughs> but I did not. Lemon lolly. I stamped on basic white. I stamped the trolley using smoky slate. I stamped the plant using. Garden, uh, granny, granny apple, apple green. green and I stamped the bag using pecan pecan pie and I colored the entire sheet mm. I colored all the background using lemon lolly isn't that the coolest and idea I colored all the bags and everything so and I would always use embellishments that like are an accent like pop off the page but I really love that you've used the same color like it looks really good it's very smart and that's silver emboss on post-it note yellow amazing they are colors that never ever would I ever pick that but I think that's a really smart technique so Michaela if you're watching thank you for your inspiration yeah, thank you for the inspiration but check this out people okay this is my favorite so I wanted to do a bit of a 3D trolley here. Um, so, and of course this was for Bruno cause you know, we know Filled how addicted plants. he is to plants. So I'm like, treat yourself, Bruno, you can get some more plants, put them in your trolley. But yeah, I just thought I really wanted to make that trolley pop off the I page. Love that. So I have a little tutorial that I'm going to put together to show you how to do that so that you don't have to spend two hours working it out like I had to. <laughs> That's why I only did like five samples because I'm like, no, I'm going to make this 3D trolley. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit of fun. It was a, a labor of love, <laughs> but it was, yeah, good fun. But and it's I like amazing the brick that, background yeah, the, too. The, the exposed brick. Exposed brick. But it's amazing that we were able to come up with, like, we did not want to buy this. No, it we weren't going to get it. And look how many samples we ended yeah. up doing. Yeah, I think I am a, a pink girl. <laughs> Kylie's been to Bunnings and bought home a trolley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, if you're watching, if you've got your catalogue there, our next one is page 70. We're almost there, Kylie. No, it's all good. Oh. Tired. I'm tired. Um, it's it's television. You don't ever say you're tired. I'm very tired. <laughs> In the Grove. Now, um, the way that I felt about the shopping trolleys, you sort of felt about this one. 
I always knew. feel I always feel like that with these type of ones, but you always do such a good job of these style of stamps. I love these. Yeah. Like as soon as I see them, yeah, as soon like, as I, I'm gets like, inspired. I, I can picture um, a card that I'm going to make with it. And some of these, I have to admit, like I couldn't quite work out what that one was, but Swamp. it looks like it's water down the bottom. Yeah. Um, it's, it's our swamp in Werribee. <laughs> this is 90%, so it's a cling stamp set. Um, what I will say about this is that if your ink is, your stamp pad is too, too juicy, mm. uh, you might not see all of the details. So if you find it a bit too juicy, just face down and get a bit of the ink off. Um, you could use your... Um, bone folder or old credit card to squish it down a bit before you stamp. Yeah, or you could stamp. I mean, stamping off probably would take up to take off too much ink. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. It might look a, a bit like a blob <laughs> if you have too much ink. So, <laughs> <laughs> but there are some beautiful. Can't say it, Nicole. I can't. <laughs> This is one piece here, I and so you can sort style. of imagine what you can do yes. through there. And some of the paper that we've seen already might look nice through there. We've got a mountain range that cuts out this mountain, but there is also another mountain range that is another accent, another accent piece. Mm. So the dies, they the dies grab me. I love those. This is to cut out the swamp piece, and this is another accent piece, which mm. I don't think I use now that I think about it. They are. We need a swamp. And some squirrels and a bunny. That's why we have so many beautiful birds. Actually, we haven't heard the birds lately. But, yes, the, the wetlands, the swamp is why we have, why we're in an area that's called Birdsville. <laughs> So this is the card that I immediately imagined Whoa. when I first saw it. I'm back in Norway. So I miss you, Norway. What is it? We have a mountain range. We have a blended skyline, of course. Mm -hmm. We have a mountain range in Smoky Slates, a mountain range in Pebble Path, Pebble Path, and a mountain range in. Basic grey. grey. Mm. And then I have some blending for the water. And I love that you've coloured. Correct. That's so I just smart. got some splint, a stamp and blend in the same colour mm. as I used down here. And it just is giving the impression of Amazing. water. And basic beige, people. Basic beige, yeah. Amazing. That is a really, really beautiful Nudie, color. <gasps> sorry. Nudie! You haven't outdone yourself. So, here's another one. This is as simple as it gets. This reminds me of, like, Colorado. So, this is using the <laughs> other... It reminds me of the fashion. <laughs> it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the logo. Yeah. This is just that one here. So, I cut out a mountain range in Pebble, Pebble Path. Path. It looks like Pebble Path. Yeah. Is this the one that I did the extension in? Yes. Ooh, so you smart. can see it only goes that wide, and so I just grabbed the die and just did it again. Get going. Over here. Nice. That's a great technique. And I did some blending great in... Great masculine card. <gasps> basic beige. Basic beige. You love your basic beige. I love my basic beige, and my basic yeah. beige loves me. <laughs> Does it? Did you ask it? Yes. What did you say? Do you love me? <laughs> I wanted it say. Yes, I do. Oh, I wondered what basic beige's voice would be. Yes, I do. <laughs> and this is my last Delirium sample. Delirium's hitting. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so what did I do here? Ah, the paper. That dye and that paper together. <laughs> so I got a piece of oh, basic that's beige. The wetlands. That is the um, wetlands I stamped in basic beige on basic beige. And then I got a blending brush, and you can sort of see around the outside, I just added some blending mm. around where that was. 
I'm not sure what what is tent fold. Like that. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh no, like that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, why are they mostly that way? It's easier to photograph if we are standing up. Yeah. Like, feel free to do it the other way, which is like, because it is a bit weird when people go to open it and they don't expect to open it like yeah. that. But it's really good for photography. <laughs> so sometimes if we um, take a photo yeah. like that, we sort of we have a... We can show a little sneaky we on sneak, the inside. We can see what's inside, whereas if we have it the other way... It's really difficult to yeah. photograph. It doesn't photograph well. Um, that was a... Um, a tip from Brian King many years ago that we have continued to use. So thank you, Brian King. <laughs> he so, photographs like that too. That is the In the Grove bundle. Very nice. I love this. I'm so excited by that and being able to use that paper with it. Yes. Yes. And I literally, like, you can see that I did it all the way to the edge. Yeah, I like that I didn't all the way wanna... to the edge, yeah. And this is just like a, a window in the world. Yeah, I really like that. But if you wanted to, you could definitely cut it down and then just have this all the way to the edge if you wanted to. Yeah. But I do like that you've got the paper still sitting there. Yeah, very nice. Thank you, Carly. Thank you. So we actually didn't get 71, loveliest tree. What? We'll have to see if someone can enable us. Next is Seaside Wishes that comes as a bundle. But the bundle is a hybrid embossing folder. So it's a embossing folder that also works in conjunction with the dies. So what you can do is you can put a piece of um, cardstock in here, but you can also sandwich it with the, the dies. dies. So how does it work? You'll feel it connecting, it goes kink. I think that's it. Like that. Yep. See how it's not moving? So it's not moving. So you, you know put the, the right cardstock in. Close it off. Run it through. And, and voila. Voila. You have it cut and embossed at the same time. It's very smart. So. It's hybrid. Let's have a look at some of the samples that we made using this. You made. Bruno was very good with this one. I didn't even touch that one. I was too busy doing my shopping trolley. <laughs> so there is a stamped version. Oh, that's great. I like so the colouring that you've done. Stamped. It's Of course, it's basic beige. Basic beige. I stamped using basic beige, and then afterwards I added some, using a sponge dauber. Is I, it Cajun? No, it's um, Calypso. Calypso. I really like that combo. Basic beige and Calypso. Winner. Some of the accent pieces as well. And I don't know if you can tell, but I stamped the sentiment and then used the Ah oh, emboss. Oh that's a good idea. So really it's a bit like difficult that. to read. Up no, close. I I could tell straight away what that was. But yeah, I like that idea. It's a good way of using it for a sentiment. So that's one. Oh I love Here this is one. another. That one's fun. So I used... I love the background. So can you see what I did, people? This is a piece of designer series paper from... Ah, from... The Full of Life. Full of Life. Ah, didn't even know that. So I just used the embossing folder. Direct. And then the... it added all of those little dotty bits because you don't actually Correct. notice those dotty bits. If you cut them but out... that looks great it adds, on the paper. Yeah. Wow. I really like that one. And so then over the top of that, I just laid the accent And what pieces. a surprise. What do we see here? Nested essentials. Essential. The word going essential. You need that now. <laughs> if you don't have it, go get it. <laughs> you can get it now. And the last one that we have is a piece of... Oh, I didn't show you inside of that one. <gasps> Ooh. Is that one needy? No. Ooh. Go, Bruno. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I knew you would be. Yeah. So this is a piece of... That looks really good. Piece so of it's resistance. A, um, basic beige. Basic beige. <laughs> then on I this... I think Bruno's a fan of basic beige. <laughs> this piece here is a piece of boho blue. 
Wow. That I use the embossing folder. Yes. Then over the... But before I use the embossing oh, folder, smart. I stamped. So in the stamp set, let me just show you a couple of these bits. So there's oh. that piece there, and there are these pieces here. Little pebble bits. Which are pebbles or coral or mm. something like that. All look good. So I stamped first. Then I use the embossing folder. Then over the top of that, I use the embossing folder using basic beige and then lightly blend Smudged. it over the top mm. and just added some of these accent pieces. And then the coffin. And then and the you chop the coffin. I like the, that you've done that. Yes. Back to the essentials. Very, very nice. So I what do you think, people? I would not have a look twice at this. What do you think of the Seaside Wishes I bundle? I really like it. Yeah, that's a winner. Now we're almost there, people. Well, well, but just before, we'll do a little quick break here okay. for In Colour Club. Because we haven't done that yet, have we? No, we haven't got to the In Colours yet. Ooh, well, we'll wait until that. But yes, scan this code if you want more information about the In Colour Club. But there's more coming. And we'll show you in the In Colour when the In Colours come. Thank you for that inspo on Seaside Wishes. Now, we are up to page 90, 90, Leaf Collection. We've shown you a couple of these samples. Please do, Elaine. The um, replay will be available for sure. And thank you for all the likes. We've got 69 likes so far. I think we can do better. I think we need to get to 100. Please like this video. Please share it. <laughs> get to 100 before we're over. So this is excellent, this stamp set. I love this. We won this. Um, yes, it was gave, an old attendee giveaway. And we gave one of them away last We year. did. So you've seen this sample here last time. I love that. So I stamped that. I was very excited by that font. I stamped um, some clear embossing on Summer Splash and copper embossing on Peach Pie. I love the... Peach pie. <laughs> Pecan pie. Peach pie. <laughs> oh, yes, Snooty already. Woo, we're at 80 people. Well done. So this was an idea that um, one of actions. the demonstrators did <laughs> on um, at on stage. So stamping in one colour and then stamp, turning it around and stamping in the other colour. Now, one thing you'll notice with this version that I did here is that I stamped in post-it you know, yellow first. Which is lemon lolly. And I did it using the um, <laughs> misty. It. I did it using the misty, and so it stamped directly over the top. And I did it two or three layers because I really wanted it to be... Like pop. Really wanted it to be thick and solid. And you can see that it was so raised, it was as though I had embossed it. It's amazing. <laughs> and so when I did the um, purple over the top, the... Um, gorgeous grey. It was like I had embossed it. So anyway, that, I liked the effect of it. So I left it like that mm. and just used the coffin. The coffin. Nested essentials. It's going to be the coffin from, from now on. Forth, yes. <laughs> the coffin sentiment. <laughs> and this really one good. here is using... And I can't believe that's... Blackberry Bliss. Soft seafoam. And soft seafoam. Wow. I like it. I prefer this one. I yeah, like I really color. like that. Yeah. And I used the colour wheel. If you got the colour wheel, I used complementary colours, which are opposite. Keep each asking other. for that colour wheel, by the way. I think I think we're bullying Stephen up into bringing them out because they're really good. And I have one more. I love this. This so is this the eyelet is folder. The eyelet folder. Mm. Um, I used white embossing powder. No, clear embossing powder. On white. On white, and then did sponging over the top. Love it. Emboss resist. Mm. And then With I the use the petunia pop. Petunia pop, yeah. Ooh. Very nice. I really like that. And I love that it's like sort of off center a bit. Yeah. That's a really nice frame. Well done. Thank you. Ooh, we're at 90 people. We're almost there. 10, oh, 91. We're going to get to 100. I can feel it in my waters. Now, before I spoke about the textured metallic specialty paper, Ooh. here it is. Let's have a, a closer look at it. So it's three sheets in a pack, copper, um, like a dark silver and gold. It's like gunmetal. Yeah. And you can see the 
texture on it. Love it. Ow! It blinded me. <laughs> but I love this. This is the one that I used on the aeroplane earlier. 93! Oh, I'm sorry we're so boring, honeybee. <laughs> She's not bored. No. It's just late. It's late. Yeah, we understand. So, yeah, this... It's late in the US. Wake up, wake up in the morning and watch the rest of the video. We're tired because can... we went to a Zoom funeral at midnight last night. Our friend and fellow demo, her husband, passed away sadly of cancer. But I'm glad we got to go. So. It's a very nice man, Jim. People, this are the two embossing folders. We've already shown you one embossing folder. And if you didn't realise... Check how big this is. Oh my goodness. Embossing folders are usually half the size. Look at the... This is the plate for the... <laughs> it's the same size as the plate. Isn't that amazing? So a few people, I noticed a few people going, oh, I don't like the size, blah, blah, blah. It's amazing. But what you don't realise for a lot of you US peeps is some of the embossing folders are actually the wrong size for our cards here in Australia. Yeah. Like, they don't go to the edge correctly, and then we've got to cut down, and it's super frustrating. So, yes. And then that's why I was making cheese, Rebecca, because I didn't just stay awake so that I could make sure that I, we went to the funeral. Because I was like, oh, I need to be doing something, because if I don't, then I'll probably just go to sleep, and I really, really wanted to go. So the dotted circles is 3D. The so swirly is just 2D. I love both of them. <laughs> but... It's, yeah, they're both amazing. They're so amazing. It's almost like 3D, they're this, this so swirly. Yeah. Like, it's really deep, isn't it? The ones that you've shown. So, yes, so think about our, the Aussie peeps. And the best thing that we can suggest with these is to have your piece that you want cut first. Don't cut afterwards. Correct, so yeah. cut first, lay it in, and then it'll be exactly what you want it to be. Just keep in mind that, most embossing folders have like a little, like one side will actually shrink it a little bit. So it's good to just have a little bit extra. Yeah. Just a, you know, one sixteenth of an inch or Particularly a couple the, of Particularly the um, 3D style. Like yeah, there was one, 3D, yeah, one that I was making for a swap and it was like, like I'd cut everything and I made oh, hundreds of them. And then move. I cut them out. I'm like, why? Why is this not the right size? And it's like. It's not exactly on both sides. It's always yeah. just one edge that's just a little bit smaller. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. So, Charlotte, in the um, pre-order, there were three embossing folders. These two, two are this size. The other one is the normal size. Yeah. Thank and you, I don't Kobe. know about that, Athena, if it fits in that, but I'm pretty sure it would fit in the old. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure they, they would the same, make yeah. sure. Yeah. But, yes, do a Christine and treat yourself to the new stem cut and emboss machine um, because I'm telling you, I don't know if it was, like, a psychosomatic, but we genuinely feel that the emboss is better. Like, it, it's much more crisp. We tested it with the team when it first came out. So this is basic beige. Ooh, Nicole. This is the colour. Now, some of you might think, uh, it's just the same as Sahara Sand. Yeah, I did that. I said that. And River Rock. I said it's River Rock. But it's not. It's very different. <laughs> so, you can see how different it is. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Marty. <laughs> and so, you can see that it's not. Let's just get another com um, comparison card. Mm. And that's vanilla. So, and the other one that we can compare is... I think, have we got a River Rock? No, no. I don't think we kept any of that one. And, and so that's Crumb Cake. That's yeah. Crumb Cake. And so these are all, mm. like, general ones that I would use. Sorry. You're right. General, like, nondescript colours that I would use. <laughs> nondescript, as so opposed it's... to neutral. Neutral, neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to basic beige, all right? Just because he's basic. <laughs> I am. You are in or love. I'm in love yeah. with basic beige. This is not as yellow. No. 
as this is. It's much more neutral. It's much, much, much yeah. more neutral. And yeah. I'm happy that it's not in the colour family. I'm happy it's yeah. just a basic. Um, yeah, it's really good. And this is a good comparison for that. And it's great for the blends too. Does it come in a blend? Um, I don't think they've done a blend yet. I don't think they? so. I hope so. Because that would be a really good blend. So that is colours. Nice. Thank you for that. Thank you. Let us talk about in colours. In colours. So now we can Whee! show that. So here are our new in colours. Which one's your fave? So we have, I'll have to lay them out because our camera is playing funny business with us. So we have, let's see if I know the. Oh, look. <laughs> put my hand there. <laughs> No, what did you do last time? You put a piece of white cardstock and then it was fine. Oh, there. That's okay. Yeah. Um, we have Shy, Shy Shamrock, Shamrock Petunia, Petunia Pop, Pop, Summer Splash, Pretty in Pink. That's the only one I'm really bad with. Peach Pie. Peach Pie, that's right. So we have this in cardstock. We have it in 6x6 six six designer I series love paper. the patterned paper. No stamp and write markers in the new catalogue. Wow. Yes, there are. Oh. That's interesting. I didn't look for them. Oh, basic base, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no stamp and write marker. That's right, for basic base. That would be really good. The good thing about um, online exclusives is that they can add they things. They can just there. add things, I yeah. I love the online exclusives. It just has to be organised a bit better. So that I know if it's going or if it's staying or if it's like still there and yeah and what the policy is about selling it we haven't been told yet when we can sell it is that all of them oh no I love summer splash too I think summer splash and shy shamrock but I'm a green girl you are yeah Jessie's a purple girl so she's very much the um Bruno's like, there's an extra. <laughs> what have you done? What have you done, Bruno? I know. Craziness. <laughs> so we've and got we have that. No, and we have no part at the... Oh, no, there it is. There. It's my, out of order. My OCD can't but handle it. They're all... Like, it's not even in order. That's all right. I can make it in order. You keep going. <sighs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have your OCD things and I go with it. You've got to go with me. But, okay. <laughs> I've been packing this box. You're going to get to the end and go, what did you pack it like that for? <laughs> Thank you, Bruno. Thank you for humouring me. <laughs> I'm Let's just make more work for everybody. <laughs> I'm preparing Bruno for menopause, everyone. I keep going like this. Bruno, Bruno, move this. And he, when he goes, no, I go, wrong, <laughs> wrong. You've got to do everything to make me happy. Okay. Is that okay, darling? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we have some ink pads. But don't say it in such a condescending way because I'll flip my head. Oh, I like this one, dear. Did you do this? Yes. Did you add the sticker there? Yes. Oh, I like that. I did. So it's not on the inside? It's both. Ah, smiley pants. We have stamp and write markets. <laughs> I, do I do test drills every now and then. I walk in and I go, oh, my goodness, something dramatic. Insert something dramatic. And then if Bruno reacts in a way that I don't want, I go, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now we have ribbon. Thank you for putting them in order. I really appreciate you. See, Christina agrees. Happy wife, happy life. Even Sue. Your life will be wonderful if you're just kind to me at all times. Yes, dear. Same. Yes, dear. No, no, it doesn't work the other no, way. No, it doesn't really. work the other way. <laughs> Obviously. You don't have hormones, okay? You don't understand, all right? You can't even talk right now. Look at that. <laughs> you have no cred in this conversation. Oh, my goodness, the blends. You had me at blends. 
actually, this is really good that we're doing this because we can add this to our in color card. Yeah, you can take a picture because it lasts longer. Looks really good, Bruno. It's like you planned this. Someone um, really clever made sure that it was all organized correctly, and you're welcome. <laughs> And the last one <laughs> is our Shimmer Gems. Oh, wow. But we also have the um, yeah, other tough. gems. Wow. We also have the other, they're not called gems, they're called dots. Dots, I oh, am. Yeah. I'm just going to put a backing so that you can see them properly. Is that okay? Yeah. So this is the in colors. We have Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, Shy Shamrock. Oh, love it. And um, we have all of these things available for you guys. And do you have the thing that yes, we have? Yes, I do. In Color Club. Da -da. So um, a lot of people, like to, to purchase this outright at, at one go is, mm. is a bit of an expense. And so we have a way that you can spread out the purchase over five months. Oh, five months. Yeah. Yeah. Five months. And so every month you get the ink pad, the re-inker, mm -hmm. the card stock, Ooh, the, re the ribbon, mm -hmm. the stamp and blends every month. So one month you get each of the colors. And yes. so after five months, you'll have the whole lot. Um, in addition to that, um, month one, and I can't remember exactly which month it is, but you get bonus um, goodies. Get bonus goodies. Um, mm -hmm. And then if you stay a um, subscriber all five months, you mm -hmm. get even more goodies. I'm scanning it to show you which month it is. Thank you for that. And then we can, and we can make sure that it works. And so it better work. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And so anyway. There it is. If you stay. Month one and month three. Okay. So month one, you get the in color shimmer gems. Yep. Uh, month three, you get the in color resin, resin dots. dots. And oh yeah, where are they? They're in the other, on yeah, the other suite. Here. Yes. Oh, that's cool. But um, you also, if you stay a member for all of the months, Five you months. get the DSP that we showed you on the screen. Mm-hmm. And you also get the markets. Ooh, that's pretty so that, cool. So that's some high value that's good gifts, gifts that you can get. And our monthly video um, class, class bundle, bundle. Every month. Every month. And that's valued at $22 each. each. So it's wow. a really good club. Good value. And so you, at the end of the club, you will have a lot of products yeah. towards your... Um, it's a great way to collect it all. And you have full packs. Mm. Like it's not as though you get a share, like a, a mm. bit of it. Um, you will get a full spool of ribbon. You'll get a full pack of cardstock That's every great. month. That's great. Now, with the cardstock, we actually send you the assortment pack every month. Oh, that's a clever And way so some it. people find it better to do that so that they can craft with more mm. cardstock as opposed to just crafting with one yeah, colour. Yeah, I like so that idea. By the end of the five months, you will have a full, full pack, pack of each, but... each colour, mm. but you just get the assortment every Smart. month. You're now there's smart. one thing I have to show you that I just found in the box and this ribbon here um, we also have in basic, basic beige. beige. Keep that in mind. So please. keep that in mind. Because Bruno missed it. I it, missed it. It was very dense. It was covered underneath a whole heap of other stuff. Yum. So there you go. So if you live in Australia, yes. anyone scan is able code. to scan and join this club right now. You don't have to pay now. No. Because we're not allowed to collect payment. Until I think it's a week, no, ten days before the like we can actually order it. It's in April, so like it, towards the end yeah, of April. Towards so. the end of April, so you've got plenty of time to save up for the first payment. Yep. And because we do month by month payments too. Yes. Can you do pay in full? Or you uh, just do month by just month. Just month by month. Yeah. yeah. It's so a big easy. expense. Yeah. And then um, if you are a Stamp Up demonstrator, you're welcome to join. As I said before. But please check with your team leader to see if they're running one of those or someone in your team might be running it. And, yeah, just good to check. Just to make sure that no one gets upset with us. 
And we, we, we <laughs> will like not that? give you, um, it's just the, the one price for demonstrators and customers. So Correct. But there's a really good deal. It's you get, a really, you get really, all the extra really stuff. good deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have an in-colour sample? Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, Bruno, are you going to show your cards? <laughs> Yes, we have five of them. Yes. I, was just up. I know you were. I'm like, are you going to be bringing out your samples? So, these are the shimmer gems. Thank you. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. One, one for each color. color. And again, this is six by six cardstock. <clears throat> and so. It doesn't go all the way across, and so you can't do that thing that you normally would do. So I just cut a bit over here and oh. added it there and cut that out. So let's pull these out because they are incredible. Incredible. And guess what, people? Bruno's using basic beige. <laughs> How amazing are these? They're so, so see how, beautiful. See how basic beige is. It's like and look it's... at the shimmer paper. Oh, does I have you got that in the club as well? The shimmer paper. Um, that might be a bonus. No, I don't think it is. That's in the um paper club. Oh, it is true. Yep. Yes, it's in the paper club. Yes, we would love to have everyone join our in color club because it's fairly good and look at all the ribbon Brenna's put the ribbon is ribbon. beautiful to work with yeah it's good for bow making like it's good for bow making it's yep. flattable yeah flat do you like that word it is it goes flat and see how nicely basic beige goes with what oh so good aren't they amazing everyone but are they nude Oh my goodness, bravo, Bruno. I'm giving you a proper clap. I didn't even know. I'm like, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> See, look, no paper gets wasted. No look paper at that. Gets look wasted. how thin that is. And look how good it looks. So don't throw out any paper. Use it for the inside. And like, even Use that. it for your envelopes. Yes, it's really good. I really like these. Yes. I, I forgot really what they were. <laughs> Funny. And so the good thing about this design, <laughs> this is the, um, mm. this will be available. This design paper will be available in every I'm color. I'm so excited by this design. And sometimes the, the designs <clears throat> that they come out with in every color are not, not the best. Not the best. Um, Rebecca agrees. Thank you, Rebecca. The new in color designs are the best. Yes, it's true. And this is using the, um, I forget what it's called, but it's the one that has all the Thank you, Christine. Colourful papers. Um, not Unbounded Beauty. It's Thoughtful Journey. This is the Thoughtful Journey mm. uh, bundle because that has the that long piece. Absolutely amazing. Amazing, amazing. You're incredible. So if you love all of the things that we've come up with today, then don't miss out on our tutorial. Thank you so much for everyone who's purchased this tutorial because these tutorials are a labor of love that we have made, all of our um, little latte class bundle. Um, so the big thank you to everyone who's purchased yes. this. Then we also have our video class bundle. I think this might be an old one, but I'll still show it. Oh, no, this oh, is our current right one. So we've got a new one coming out um, next month. Which is like in a couple of days. Yeah, a couple of days. I'm doing my video today. I'm very excited because I'm doing like a vintage feel. And a demonstrator that I met at on stage inspired me because she said she got the shakes when she had to rip paper. So mm -hmm. I'm not only ripping paper in my video class bundle this month, I'm actually scrunching it as well. I am like literally shredding it. So we're going. It's featuring nature's sweetness. Nature's sweetness. And the paper is in the new catalog. Yeah. So I'm really excited by that. So yeah, this one here, the rock and roll, really great. It has been very popular. Part. Yeah, this has been very popular because it's really Amazingly good popular. for male cut, masculine cuts, but also teenagers, boy and girl. I think it's a really, really great video class to get. This have one. we slept uh, <clears throat> a bit? Not, not as much as we should have. 
Yes. Do we sleep? Maybe. So yes, and just remember that we've got some amazing, amazing online exclusives. We'll put your head in here. <laughs> Make sure you get your online exclusives, the Magnolia and the Latte um, bundles. What other online exclusive is there? There's the, the top one. Perennial. The one above. Yeah, that one. Oh, yes. This has some of the other ones, the Zinnia. The and you can get these loads now. Loads of love. These are all available now. Yeah. So don't forget those as well. So, yeah. Make Thank sure you, you go get long, your shopping list. How long has this video? Yes, please. Get this shopping list. Write and go it all back. down. What I might do is I might go through and add some timestamps. That'd be great, Bruno. So that you can um, Click. just... To find, Click to find things, things. and mm. so hopefully uh, you'll be able to. Yeah, I'll just go by suite names, mm. maybe page numbers, and don't please know. share this video please with any of your video. team members. Yeah, anyone that you think would be interested in seeing all of these samples, because Bruno has worked very, very hard with all these samples, and you'll see them on our blog, KylieBatucci.com. Over the coming, yeah. And if there's long. something that you'd really, I would love to see you make these, Bruno. I want to see the in color. I think that needs to be a video. So, Kayla, we'll, we'll you're peg, amazing. We'll peg a few cards that can be definite cards for yes videos. Well done. Thank you. You Bravo. too. High fives. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to do um, a. A pretend like I'm gonna do this one. Ready? <laughs> we'll put them all around. <laughs> They're gonna be everywhere with the uh, magic we of might television. Have, should we have them um, blanked out? Like, ooh, yes. So you can't see it. You have to, you have to watch. No, there's so many we can't even put them on. Yeah. We'll do a little. I taste can't even dunk. like hold them up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So thank you so much. If you, you do end up casing us, please go ahead. You don't need to ask our permission. That is why we do these videos. And keep in mind, like we want to share, we want to share these projects as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, please mention Just us. Mention us. Um, yeah, tag us, and, and we, we will might be not very share excited. them for a couple months. Yeah. So it, yeah, that's it's just a nice thing to do, and then we, we connect with you. That's a good. All happy. Okay. Love well, thank you, Kylie, and thank you all for watching. How long has this been? An epic... Woohoo! Almost three hours. Oh, wow! I'm glad I planted my um, potatoes on hay day because that's they should be just about cooked. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me. No, I'm not. I'm, that's amazing. My, my, my hay it's day good time potatoes use. are very good. <laughs> mammoth effort. Yes. Um, thank you. It's a mammoth effort mm. for you guys for watching. Yes. And so... Um, we love doing these types of videos. We know that, um, you know, we know you love them. We, we know you enjoy watching them. And so we want to inspire you. Um, like I said, some of the products that we saw the first time in the catalog did not really do it for us, mm. but using them. Mm. Amazing. It's been amazing. Yeah. And so we hope that you download the shopping list, that you make a note of all the things that you want to get, um, on April the 2nd, if you're a demonstrator. Remember, if you're not yet a demonstrator, any of the products that we showed you, except for the ones that we got as a freebie, mm. um, you can add to your starter kit. Yeah. And so we want to we want to help you guys with that. If you live in Australia, please reach out to us. Um, our email address is Kylie Batucci. Mail at Kylie Batucci. Mm, mail at Kylie Batucci .com. Yes. So um, it's listed down there. I thought I had another way. Mm, that's anyway. great. And yes, I'm still playing Hey Day. <laughs> Who asked and yes, you that? Megan, I really, really wanted to do clean up in R4. I was actually going to do clean up in R9. But I'm really sad that the mini alphabet doesn't have numbers. We need to ask Stampin' Up for Just numbers. Spell it out N I N E. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> so I was trying to like work out maybe I could cut one of the letters to make it into a number, but yeah. I didn't quite get there. But I did think of you, Megan, with Clean Up and Aisle 9. Clean Up and Aisle 9. <laughs> thank you, Tamara, for watching. Yeah, thank you all so much for your support. Yes. Thank you for being here. If you want any of our class bundles, you can get those now, any of the online exclusives. And just remember the reason why we show all these samples ahead of time is to help you with your pre-order, which is coming up in just a few days' time. Yep. And if you're not a demonstrator, well... 
become one so now that you can get, get all the new products. And um, because it's the middle of a um, quarter, January, February, March, I think if you sign up in April, then you don't have any quarterly minimums for April, May, June. No quarterly minimum. And then um, you get July as a buffer. So then you won't have a quarterly minimum until July, August, September, end of September. And then you get a buffer in October. So you could but sign up. But we've shown you all of this <clears throat> stuff. You can feel yeah. that, no problem. But you can sign up in April and you have nothing to worry about until the end of October, which is really good. So all that time with no minimum, you could be getting 20% off, mm. which to me is a no-brainer. So really smart. And um, Catherine, Epic we will ED, do that. We will do that in the busy. next couple of um, days. We will show some uh, comparisons, just as we yep. are showing people about it in Color Club. So we'll do that. Yeah, great idea. Great idea. Um, Patty Bennett's really good at that too. She's got some. Images, There's lots I of think. yeah, lots yeah, of Rachel Tessman around. has put yeah. out a few. So we'll pee backwards for nine. Maybe that'll work. I like that hope. Oh yeah, mm. it could work. I'll have a play. And well, thank little, you. Yeah, thank Thanks you for being here, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Kylie. And we'll see you soon. Well done. See you soon, Crazy Crafters. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Bye. Bye. See you, everyone. Who did thumbs down? <laughs> but we got 106 people. Oh, awesome. Well done to us. We got over 100. That was the goal. You did it. Well done. Thank see you, you soon. Everyone. Bye. Bye.